is all you got. Whole squad ready. All season long, X marked the spot for action, atmosphere, energy, and innovation. That's all, baby. Let's get it. Now, with the title on the line, the stakes are higher. They're not better than us. Welcome to the 2023 South Division Championship of the XFL. Are you ready? Whole squad ready. Danny and DJ, you know we are ready. The regular season has come to an end in the great city of Houston, Texas. Playing host to the South Division Championship game, we got a crawfish festival breaking out between these two passionate fan bases. Not too much distance between Arlington and Houston. They know each other well. This will be the third time they've played this year, but this one is win or go home. The playoffs are here. Houston and Arlington, South Division today, DC Seattle, North Division tomorrow. Trent Harris, star power today. Leads the XFL in sacks and one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in the league. Luis Perez making his fourth start with Arlington. Will he be the difference to finally get the Renegades that win, get this team ready prior to kickoff? Big time players make big time plays and big time moments. This is a big time moment. Yeah. Let's go show up, look yourself in the mirror, trust the man next to you, and let's go win this damn game. This is not our last game. Yep. Let's go. Trust the process all week, man. We've been grinding, putting on pads in the middle of the week. Yep. Let's go out there and trust the process and go win the damn game. Yes, sir. Execution, attention to detail, every single play. And let's go win this game. Let's go. Bring it up. Go out. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Will third time be the challenge for Arlington? Alongside Joey Galloway, who's back. I'm Matt Berry. So happy to be a part of this playoff broadcast with you today. For Luis Perez and Arlington to get this done, they're going to have to go against a Houston defense who, no surprise, led by Wade Phillips, a defensive guy, one of the best defenses in this league. And defensive coordinator Brian Stewart, they put together the best defense in the XFL. When you look at all the stats, any category you look at, they're either one or two in every single one of them, including five defensive touchdowns, which leads the XFL. You see the sacks are going to get after the quarterback. You already mentioned Trent Harris. They will be coming after Perez. It is a fun defense to watch. Brian Stewart, the defensive coordinator, but the head coach, Wade Phillips, is in charge of this saying, who's with Tiffany. Coach Phillips, you are no stranger to beating an opponent three times in the same season. You did it as a head coach of the Dallas Cowboys against the Eagles. How will you try to do that today as the Roughnecks head coach against the Renegades? Well, it's hard to do. It really is. Uh, you know, we, we're very familiar. They're a good team. Uh, but we're playing at home. If we play our best, I think we can win. Thanks, Coach. Now let's send it over to Eric McLean, who's with Coach Bob Stoops and the Renegades. Here with the Hall of Famer, Coach, you're getting the ball first on offense. There feels like there's a level that hasn't been touched yet with Luis Perez. How do you get going early? Yeah, as much as anything, that we run game and, and Luis. You know, we've got to be able to capitalize on some run game and then uh, avoid third and long and pick up short yardage uh, third downs. Appreciate you, Coach. Good All luck. Right, thanks, Matt. Eric, coaches, thank you so much. The line has moved within the last couple of minutes. Seven and a half, Houston, the favorite. The point total is 41. I should point out, Houston has won both games by at least 12 and a half points, which would be good enough to cover. They've covered both times they've played them. Yeah, they have, including holding this Arlington team to nine points just last week when they played them. So sit back, relax. It is playoff weekend, the championship drive here in the XFL. What a story it's been. Ten weeks for players to have the opportunity to continue their playoff and football career. And we're about ready to get underway. There's the kickoff target zone. Kick has to go in there. If you're new to the XFL, welcome in. It's a great, great product. The players cannot touch each other to the receiver. Has the kick situated at the 30 and the 35-yard line. One of the great rules in this league as we begin. Austin Jones to kick. Rennell Hall to receive. And we've got playoff football here in Houston. Hall tried to get it to the outside, just shy of the 25-yard line. 
And that's where we bring out Luis Perez, Joey, a player that they are hoping in this offense today has that breakout performance in the playoff And game. this is his fourth start. In his three previous starts, they put up two of their top three point outputs of the season. So they feel different with Perez at quarterback. He's a great leader. Coach couldn't say enough great things about Perez and what he's done since he's been here. Thank you, thank you. It's more so about the coach. Yeah. So Devion Smith in the backfield. He was held out last weekend just to be healthy for today. 180, First and 10 at the 25, play fake for Perez. Runs away from the defender, and that's what he can do. Perez has the feet and a gain of six on first down. Jack Heflin pressured it. Here we go. Pistol, dice left, Colt five split, F bluff, I want it. Chuck Long, one of the offensive coordinators, said he's the best, has the best work ethic of any quarterback I've been around. Second and four, the give to Smith right up the middle. They're gonna have to get that ground game going, Joey. Let's go, Balboa. Balboa. Balboa, on the ball, Balboa, 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 Balboa. No more. Here we go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Early third and two. Stay on the ground. First down, Arlington. That's a way to get it. Devion Smith running hard. The product out of Michigan. And how about those big guys up front getting that first down, Jeff? And this is a great first down and a confidence builder for this offensive line. It's third and short. Let's prove that we can be physical. Coach Stute said we got to be more physical against these guys. There's not a better way to show physicality than a third and short running down their throat. Here we go. Sit up. An 80. It's hot. Smith again off the left side. Big fellas for Smith. Big hole, big game. Arlington moving it on the ground. William Likely, Eugene Harris with the tackle down to Eric. Guys, one thing to watch out for, left tackle George Moore not available today. So you're seeing Willie Beavers in there. Backup tackle, he just played really well. Just sealed that edge there on the side. How excited is Eric right now? <laughs> little offensive line play up front, running line the ball well. The offensive line credit. No Letty Brown today for Arlington, so Brian Harrion, who had a nice game last week, is in the game. Perez, quick throw to the outside. Tyler Barnes tries to get away to no avail. Likely and Beckett combine on the tackle. And here's the kind of situations you want to stay out of if you're Arlington. Their offensive has struggled this season, struggled to put points on the board. So you have to be good on first down. You have to get positive yards to allow for your run game to be a part of the play Gun. call. Now at a the second and long, you figure passer. it's going to be a Cold pass. Five split, X glance. I want to Gotta go. Three. There you go. Sit up. 180. Where's Hunt? That's the give to Harry and off the left side. They've been successful running on this first drive. That'll give them five, getting that loss back plus two. Heflin on the tackle. Wristband 30, 11 personnel. Wristband 34. Dime, Tato, split, five calls. Dime, Tato, split, five calls. F sale, watch out across X dagger. I want any. So go. this drive alone, five no, runs, one cross, pass, cross, cross, third and seven. Let's go, let's go. Let's get some man-to-man -man coverage here out of Houston. He's told us hey, you third down. Let's go, Brian. Let's go, Brian. Let's go, Brian. Let's go, Brian. Hey, you can't be talking too much. Two man, they were going two man. We should go empty. Uh, uh, that was two man. You saw that? Yes. Oh, a lot of too so far. I got some water. Water. Now you're talking to Bob Stoops pregame. And even this week, he's like, you know, we're too fond huh? of hurting ourselves. That's so. 
defense coordinator Brian Stewart told us third downs, they're going two man. They came out in two man. It caused Perez to take a look and call a timeout. Let's go on turbo, on turbo, okay? Uh, two jet nuts on turbo, ready? Said they were going to change things up defensively to perhaps give Perez a different look. As JP. Joey noted, it worked. Hey. Third and JP. eight. Turn, up. Perez looks left over the middle. There's Sal Canella, the team's leading receiver, and that was good patience at a quarterback to find Canella, and that'll be a first down Arlington. And it was two man, we just mentioned that. Sal Canella had man-to-man -man coverage, but he chips the defensive end, and when he chips, his coverage man loses him. Steven Den Denmark came in the game to guard Canella on third down man-to-man. -man. He chipped, he lost, and Canella comes across. Gets oh, wide open versus man-to-man. -man. Canella, fascinating story. I'll get into him in just a bit. And his love Here we go. of something other than football. But Turbo, first things up. first. First and ten. Perez takes a shot to the right. Good throw. Ruled incomplete. Intended for Vaughn. Raleigh Tejada on the coverage. I like the aggressive mindset. From, from Arlington here. We know they're pretty good on defense. We know this offense has struggled. Be aggressive early in this game. They've been beat twice by this Houston team. The only way to win this game is come out, be aggressive on offense, and play good defense. And early on this first drive, this is a terrific first drive. If you're Arlington, they have to pay it off and get points. And y'all take that one step further, not necessarily field goal points. They got to get in the end zone. That has been their bugaboo. A quick pop pass to Caleb Vanderesh. Vanderesh trying to get outside. And we've already seen the creativity out of John Hayes and Chuck Long, brought down by Emmanuel Ellerby. Wristband 59. Wristband 59. Quad in the huddle. Quad, quad, quad. Hurry up. Listen up. Hey, listen up. Hey, dummy Daytona. Dummy Daytona. Hey, gun tempting right tight. 83. Maestro, FL. Dummy Daytona. Turbo, ready? Gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. Maestro. Gotta go. Daytona. Sit up. Turbo, sit up. Third and three. Perez tries to sneak out. Keeps his eyes downfield. End zone. Touchdown, Arlington. No play. Javante Payton, and how about that for the Renegades to get this playoff game started? And you ask how can Arlington pull off this win after losing twice to Houston in this season? Well, that's how. Be aggressive on the offensive side, and your quarterback Perez making plays. They couldn't have been any more effusive in their praise okay, of Perez. Ivy, X Hammer, White Hammer return. Look at my single. I want it. And his football my... smarts. They were no, there, waiting no, over there. for that breakout game. Remember, in the XFL, we don't kick go. extra points. Here you go. Sit up. We get one, two, or three. They're going to go for two. Here you go. 180. Wait, Four receivers top of the screen. Louise is going to go to the left. It's tipped and incomplete. So the extra points, no good. Perez, four of five, 28 yards. And that touchdown, what a start for the Red And Arlington goes 10 plays, 75 yards. Perez stays alive, and now Arlington has the lead. We are off and running in Houston. Can Arlington finally get Houston the first time this season? It's early, but Arlington making a statement up 6-0. When everything hurts, you need relief that's deeper than ice. You need Tidal, the cryotherapy spray that goes beyond cold to take control of the pain. This was just easy, and it felt so good. I was like, wow, that actually smells good. It's like penetrating into my skin, which I really love. Tidal's powerful plant-based formulation was developed to help world-class athletes recover faster. Tidal cryotherapy spray can contribute to total body recovery because it can alleviate muscle pain, joint pain, even back pain. A 360-degree continuous spray relieves pain in even the hardest to 
reach areas, drives fast, and lasts. When you get older, the joints start hurting. The spray is easy. You just bring it wherever you are, spray it, and it feels great within minutes. It changes my life in a way that I can still be active and yet not feel aches and pains when I'm sitting there for long hours. Title Cryotherapy, available at these fine retailers. Visit title.com for locations. It's that time of the year to declutter your life, and that includes your finances. Rocket Money finds and gets rid of sneaky subscriptions, lowers bills, and puts you back in control of your money. Download Rocket Money today. Love the way you look on your big day with Men's Warehouse. From your first look, to your first kiss, to all eyes on you. Men's Warehouse. Love the way you look. Scan now and we'll help fit and find your look with our new Wedding Wingman tool. With the new Scope Squeeze Mouthwash Concentrate, just add water, squeeze to control the strength of your mouthwash, and find a zone all your own. Scope Squeeze. In a league of dreams and opportunities, there's only one chance to be a champion. The road to the 2023 XFL Championship ends in San Antonio. The best of the North versus the best of the South. Which team will triumph? Take it to the house. Show with the burner. Interception. Touchdown. The 2023 XFL Championship game, Saturday, May 13th at the Alamo Dome. Tickets on sale now. Visit Ticketmaster or XFL.com slash tickets. Welcome back to Houston, Luis. You get guys get off to an amazing start there. I kept hearing you say they're running cover two. They're running cover two. What did you see out there? Uh, yeah, no, they're doing what we thought on film. Uh, offensive line, running backs, everybody did the part, and we executed our plays. Seems like you guys had great balance. Is that what you want all year long, all game long? You want to pass a little more, run a little more? Yeah, you always want to be balanced, right, to keep the defense on their toes. So I think we're doing a pretty good job of that so far. Appreciate you, Matt. Appreciate it, thanks. Speaking of balance, five runs, five passes. And a touchdown for the Renegades to get this thing started. Max Borgie did not play last week. They held him out for rest. He'll return the opening kick across the 32-yard line. And Brandon Silvers, who also was held out last week, will get the start for the Houston Roughnecks. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's go. Start out front. Here we go. On the trips left, same Broncos. Owen, ready? They employ what they call the Mike Leach offense. Go! Hunt, hunt! Borgie situated to his left. It's going to be Borgie. Makes the first man miss on first down. Tries to cut it back, and that was a good individual effort. And a pickup of five. Hap. Trips left, Hap. Red F adjust, Z snag. Red F adjust, Z snag. F adjust, on one, ready? Out motion. Go! Hunt, hunt! Alain in the backfield, slips out, silvers, keeps his eyes up, pass tips. T.J. Barnes there, and that brings up third and five. Great coverage by Darnell Sankey in the middle. You could see Silvers is looking to the middle of the field. Linebacker covers the route he wants to go to. He tries to bring it back down to reload, then they get a hand on it. So a great start for the Arlington defense after the offense score to bring up a third down for Houston, first possession of the game. Winner advances to the XFL championship. Go! Hunt, hunt! Third and five. Silvers out of the backfield. That's a big play on third. Big miss. Bryson Aline, he's quick. Gain of 23. Move to change Houston. Love the play call back out of the backfield. They crisscross the defenders. You can see there's a collision out wide where the defender not, runs down, bumps into the safety, and then it's wide open. Big play for Houston offense. 
They've got just about everything in the backfield. Borgie, the starter, all lanes, a shifty guy. We'll see Jeremy Cox, their big bulldog in the backfield, had a big game last week. We expect to see him play throughout the day. McDonald got the start last week. He's their runner, pulled it from Borgie, tackled by Powell. For a gain of one. And how important is that start by Powell? We know what kind of athlete Cole McDonald is. We know they want to bring him in when it's time I to run block. the ball. And sometimes it's going to be man-to-man -man with block. your safety out there against McDonald. Can you make a play? Block. Joe Powell early on makes the play they need. Hey, that, end, that ends pressure right away. Here we go. Here go. Go. Hunt, hunt. Silver's back in the game. Silver's downfield. Good back shoulder catch. Tavon Salter. Oh, they ruled it incomplete. Could not hang on, Joey, once they hit the turf, but Tavon Salter. Thought he had a big one. Yeah, and I was with you, Matt. I thought it was a terrific catch. You can see as he rolls over, hits the ground, you have to finish the catch through the fall. Just doesn't hold on to it when he rolls over. So now third and nine, ball up to 40. Go! Already converted on third and five. Pressure, Silvers gets out of the pocket. He's brought down just short of the first down, Bruce Hector tripped him up. But he gets enough to make it a decision, and it looks like Houston's going for this, which I agree with. You're inside the 35-yard line. He gets go, go, just go, go, go. enough, you know, a couple more yards. Go for it, be aggressive early in this game. So Silver stays in at quarterback. Fourth and three. Go! Hunt, hunt. They're gonna throw. Pass across the middle, it's incomplete. And how about this start for the Renegades? They score on their first possession, hold Houston on fourth down, and they're gonna get the ball back, feeling pretty good about themselves, Joe. Not just get the ball back, but after going 10 plays and getting a touchdown, now they get the stop they need. This is what Arlington need to pull off this upset. Talked about it in the open. How do you get that first win against the team you haven't beat? The recipe is starting right now for the Renegades. Oh. <laughs> it was me the whole time! <laughs> well done, ma'am. What did I do exactly? With Snapchat from Progressive, you get a personalized discount for doing exactly what you're already doing, being a safe driver. Congratulations. This is a bowling trophy. Yeah, it's the biggest one they had. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're good. When it comes to the love of Sargento Real Natural Cheese, we all belong together. Sargento, we're real cheese people. When you prefer a dream vacation over a rental nightmare, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. It may be a new season, but the slate is not wiped clean. I came up from the bottom. You have no idea. You can't swipe through my story. Write my name in his story. Give us baseball at its best. Phillies. Astros. It's the World Series rematch on Sunday Night Baseball. If you're like I was, you're tired of worn out plastic mats under your office chair. They dent and crack and they're uncomfortable to roll on. I found a premium alternative, a glass chair mat by Vitraza. I liked it so much, I bought the company. I'm George Pardo, president of Vitraza. Our glass chair mats are made of super strong glass and protected with a nanotech coating so you'll always get a smooth, easy glide. And they're beautiful. Tired of replacing plastic? I promise this is the last chair mat you'll need. And we give you a lifetime warranty. Comfort, 
style, durability, a Vitraza glass chair mat will completely transform your workspace, home office or office office. We stock 18 popular sizes and we ship free to anywhere in the lower 48. Get the look you deserve. I invite you to shop online at vitraza.com. Use promo code TV and save 10% on any glass chair mat at vitraza.com. The XFL brought to you by Progressive, the right call to protect your home and car, and by Pella Windows and Doors, tested for extremes, designed for your home. Two legends head coaching these teams. Bob Stoops scores the National Championship in Oklahoma. Wade Phillips, the Super Bowl. The Denver Broncos is their defensive coordinator. Well, Josh Heupel was the quarterback for Bob Stoops when they won that national championship. Now the head coach of Tennessee, Wade Phillips. Coached so many Hall of Famers in his career, one of them DeMarcus Ware, who you saw as a part of the NFL draft coverage, announcing picks for the Denver Broncos. Also coached DeMarcus when he was the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. First down for the Renegades. They used the running game big on their first drive. That was Smith for a gain of one. You mentioned Davion Smith didn't play last week. Had the ankle injury. You asked coaches, is he healthy? Is he 100%? Are you concerned whatsoever? And John Hay said, no, not at all. We're going to give him the football. You can see early on, they're leaning on Davion Smith. Joe, he had mentioned in the game last week, he could have gone, but in this situation, when you know you're here, in, you've got the same opponent. Here, 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 here. Hey, right, right, here, 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 gotta go. Three, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Over the ball. Turn, motion up. Perez gets the playoff. Communication issues as Arlington <laughs> scrambles out of the pocket. What a grab. One-handed by Tyler Vaughn. Perez doing a great job extending the play. How about that snag and by And you 85? can hear Perez has been in a hurry at the end as the play clock is running down. And we I talked to, to John Hayes and Chuck Long. They said they want to get the play in earlier so he has time to make checks. Early in this game, they're not doing a great job of making those, getting those plays in. He made it look so nonchalant. Tyler Vaughn just reaches out with the one hand. He's 6-2, pulls it in. I wasn't sure he pulled it in. You seem to be pretty sure it's a heck of a catch. No chance Galloway's got that in his game. As Devion Smith on third and two, brought down by Emmanuel Ellerby. And Houston makes quick work, three and out for the Arlington offense. Got a defense that leagues the XFL and tackles for loss. Showed exactly why there. Yeah, an aggressive up front. A lot of guys in the backfield, nowhere for the running back to go. Ellerby is another player that didn't play last week who's healthy, and you can see him. He leads his team in tackles. You can see he's ready to go. Marquette King to punt to William Likely. Asking his team to get away from it. Settles at the 20-yard line. What a great day here in Houston. Good start to this South Division Championship. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. It's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. When you prefer a dream vacation over a rental nightmare, It matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Next on Behind the Series. Let me tell you about the greatest roster ever assembled. The monster, the outlaw, and you can't forget about the boss. Sometimes you just want to eat your heroes. The Subway Series, the greatest menu of all time. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. It's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. Welcome to Stormy Heights, where the windows are always Pella. Pella's fiberglass is the strongest material for windows and patio doors. The fiberglass frame is even scratch and dent resistant. Pella windows. Save on replacement windows by Pella now. What do you mean the connecting rooms were not confirmed? Exactly, not confirmed. We need to be able to see our kids. Uh, you'll be able to see them. When you want your kids in a room that's actually connecting, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. A bunch of dead guys made up work way back when. It's 
Welcome back to Arlington, where the Renegades lead at six to nothing. I'm standing here with Roughnecks linebacker Emmanuel Ellaby. Your sack came at the right time. Arlington was gaining some momentum. What did that do for this defense? Um, I mean, we just take it one play at a time, right? So we don't get too high, too low. Uh, Coach Wade always talks about being even kill, so that was like an opportunity to be able to be even kill. I got up big, but this is a game. It's a long game, right? It's, it's four quarters of it. Nobody's gonna win the game in the first 60 minutes. I mean, the first 15 minutes. It's a 60 minute game, and plus whatever extra time we have. So uh, for us, it was just kind of like staying the course. Staying on the ship, calming down, relaxing, doing what we can do best, and, and playing off the ball. Thanks, Emmanuel. No Matt? Tiffany, thank you. Houston afforded the right to host this playoff game. Best record in the South. 4-1 at home this season. They start with the ball at the 20. Cole McDonald back at quarterback. First time we've seen Jeremy Cox in the game, who had a big one last week. McDonald, the play fake, leads Cedric Bird too much, and it falls incomplete. If you listen to LRB, Matt, this is when the game actually starts. On your first drive, you're on a motion, uh, you're hyped up, you just came out, and that's the way you play through the first series. And then once you get through that, the second series is when the game actually starts because you settle in, and now you have to be mistake-free fo mistake football. Go! Right. Houston thinks their two-quarterback system an advantage for them. He saw Silvers over at the sidelines. He started. Cole McDonald played well last week. That was Max Borgie in a gain of four brought down by Will Hill. We talked about Houston's Pike. defense. Blue Arlington X pretty good defensively also. Pike, blue X wall, Z out. Where's Chad? No, I'm going to go. That's me. That was big right there for you. I just seen that guy coming. I knew we had... So Silvers comes back in third and six. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go. Uh, hut. Gets it off in time to Bird. And that'll be right at the change. They're going to move it first down gain at six. Trayvon LeBlanc brings him down. So a nice conversion there for Silvers. Two-minute mark here in the first quarter. Go! Hut, hut. Cox up the middle. Cox, an interesting story. He was actually in Arlington's camp during training camp. Cut. had still been working out. Houston then picks him up. Last week was his first game. Goes for 21 carries, 120 yards, and a touchdown. A.J. Smith told us of the running back out of Old Dominion, quote, Go. I've been waiting for a guy All like right. Jeremy Cox on this roster. He's got it. Silvers. Big hit. Arlene popped by face. Will Hill out of Florida. And these safeties from Arlington have been near the line of scrimmage, and they're making plays. They're coming up to hit you when they show up. Hill shows up, and, and that sends a message. It not only sets up a third and long, but that sends a message. Our safeties are going to be down in the box. Now, the question is, if you're, if you're Houston's offense, can you start to take those shots down the field because those safeties are so aggressive? Now third and 14. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Arlington's just going to run it with Arlene. And for the second consecutive possession, Joey, we see Donald Payne, who's back. Big addition for Arlington to be back healthy this week. But another stop for this Renegades defense. Yeah, and this Renegades defense realizes, okay, we have a six-point lead. We have to play from ahead because our offense is not great. They're not going to bring us back, so we have to maintain this lead, and they're playing like it. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Couldn't get the snap off in time. So what a start here in the South Division Championship. Winner plays for the XFL Championship. Luis Perez comes in, leads Arlington to a touchdown. And right now, they hold a 6-0 lead over the favorite Houston Roughnecks here on ESPN.
Subway keeps upping their game with the Subway series, an all-star menu of delicious subs. Like number six, the boss. Meatballs with marinara and pepperoni. I get asked so many times, who's the boss? If you get the boss, you are the boss. Try Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. The all-new Chevy Colorado is made for more. Bring more. Nobody said it would be. Do more. The all-new Chevy Colorado, made for more. What do you mean the connecting rooms were not confirmed? Exactly, not confirmed. We need to be able to see our kids. Uh, you'll be able to see them. When you want your kids in a room that's actually connecting, it matters where you stay. Hilton, for the stay. Topo Chico Hard Seltzer. Mexican-inspired flavors. Crisp taste. Crafted with soul. Always refreshing. Always diferente. Page Ms. Hilton. In the connecting room, please. Book confirmed connecting rooms for an extra large closet. Or, you know, for your family. When you need a connecting room for whatever reason, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Welcome to the final push where greatness is tested where unstoppable forces collide legends break through and legacies are etched in gold it's playoffs time and whatever happens next is going to be beautiful the NBA playoffs continue on ABC Great story prior to tonight's game. NASA astronaut Captain Victor Glover was honored by presenting the official game ball. Victor, alongside his four crew members, are going to be the first humans to fly aboard the Orion spacecraft and the first to go into deep space in 50 years. Sitting next to our chairwoman and owner, Danny Garcia, Jerry Carden now there to the left, another league owner. Deep space, is that like outer, outer space, Joey? That's like Star Trek type stuff. That's true. Yeah. That guy might be the smartest man in the building. Would you go is the question. Would I go? No. Not a chance. No way. All right, so before we left, Houston actually called a timeout with one second left in the first quarter because they wanted to punt with the wind. So we're not in the second quarter yet. We are still in the first. That's how Joey adds yardage to his drives. Go with the wind. It showed you how windy it is in here that you would burn a timeout just to punt exactly with the wind. Right. It is a really windy day here in Houston. So the re-punts. Well, they take advantage. Rennell Hall pushed back to inside his 20. So the answer to that is yes. Hall across the 30. Makes a few men miss. Can he get to the sideline? Hall, what a block. And Rennell Hall, as a flag comes in late, it was a punt of 52 and a return of 25. Yeah, that was a great block a few years ago. Now it's a penalty. It was Javante Payton. Number three of the receiver. Uh, three? Yeah, it was ahead of the run, so we're going to go from west to spot. Blindside block. Okay. Personal foul. Illegal blindside block, receiving team number three. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. It's first and 10. Chris Coy. That's the end of the first quarter. Our referee, that is the end of the first quarter, but we are going to stay here, and I'm going to bring in our VP of officiating, Dean Blandino, for the first time, who's been so great throughout the season. Dean, Joey kind of hit on it there. He said something interesting. He goes, a couple years ago, that hit is legal, but walk us through why that was flagged. Great point. That was a legal play several years ago, but it was changed. That's a blindside block. That's that blow up block when you're going against the grain and that defender really can't protect themselves. So now that's a foul. But but Matt, I can't believe you didn't call out Lee Majors in the box with Danny and Jerry. And, and come on, the $6 million man? You got to give him a shout out. You, you know, we were talking about that during the commercial break. I'm like, do I want to steal an astronaut's thunder for Lee Majors, a $6 million man. That's why I'm glad you did it for me. The, you know, just a little shout out. Don't steal the thunder, just a little bit. I mean, my man's going to deep outer space. That is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's going to be with us throughout the afternoon. First down for Arlington. And that's Devion Smith. How about that? Keeps his legs turning for a gain of nine. I see Devion Smith comes off the field. 
And it was an ankle injury that he had early in the season, and, and the reason he didn't play last week was the ankle. Hopefully, it, it's not the same ankle, and he can come back in this game. We'll have Eric check on his status in a minute, so it'll be Brian Herring now. Remember, no Letty Brown for the Renegades. He was probable. Second and short. Arian follows his lead blocker. What a play defensively led by William Likely. But Harrion able to lower the shoulder and get the first down. Joey Likely was able to stand him up, but Harrion kept the legs moving to get the hard yardage. Yeah, and again, you're seeing these defensive backs playing near the line of scrimmage. Eventually, whether it's Houston, whether it's Arlington, they're going to start taking these shots down the field because these defensive backs are making these kind of plays. Offensively, you say, okay, you want to make a play at the line of scrimmage, we're going to take you deep. Intended to Khalif Bryce, who's injured for the Roughnecks. Don't miss the 2023 NFL North Division Championship game tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern ESPN. As the D.C. Defenders host the Seattle Sea Dragons. Trip to the championship game in San Antonio on the line. Game also available at ESPN Deportes. At ESPN Plus, championship game May 13th in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome. I love this game right here. Seattle and D.C. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. And, and I think people would think that those may be the best two teams in the league. Maybe you throw St. Louis in there. Anthony Beck did a great job with, the, with St. Louis and that team. They didn't get in the playoffs, but they had a great season. But I think when you look at those other two teams, D.C. and Seattle, you would consider one of those teams being the favorite. So Harrion was able to get the first down. Still in the backfield, Perez takes a shot downfield with the win. Has Peyton wide open. How about Arlington? 58 yards. And the Renegades make it a statement here on the road. I was just wondering when they would take their shot. Likely, you just saw him made a play at the line of scrimmage, and then you also seen him get beat deep. Offensively, you see those safeties, those corners making plays at the line of scrimmage, go deep. I tell you what, this is the league of opportunity, the XFL oh, and the Renegades are taking every advantage of their opportunity here in the playoffs. What a start. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Kelly Bryant on, in for the two-point conversion. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Fireballs out. Vaughn's motions in the backfield. Harrion end around. Peyton, who just scored. I'm telling you what. We have a story yeah. developing in Houston. Yeah. Joey, four and six on the season. Some wondered how the four and six gets you in the postseason. Oh, yeah. No, if there's good. anything no, yeah. in your playbook that you haven't shown all season long, it's time to bring it out. That's it. I just mentioned. These defensive backs are making a lot of plays at the line of scrimmage. Likely just made the play, the one before this play. Offensive coordinator sees that and says, we're going to go deep. We're going to stretch these guys out, get these guys away from the line of scrimmage. Wide open, great throw by Perez. He's going to say, let's give Perez a little bit of credit there for how good that throw was. 58 yards. Acquired from Vegas in week seven of the season. Coaches say that he's got the best work ethic they've ever seen. A great story, Perez. Didn't play high school football. Played at community college, then at Texas A&M Commerce. And he's got the visiting Renegades up 14-0. Borgie lets it bounce. Takes it to the 34-yard line, down to Eric. Jay, it wasn't enough. You did 60-plus. You had to get the conversion, too. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, we've been really trying to call that play for a little minute. We've been holding on to it for a while, so I'm excited we was able to get it off the tarp. What was it, coverage? Was it you just felt good? You said you were waiting on it. Why did you call it right there? Um, as far as the extra or the touchdown? The, the conversion. The conversion, oh, you know, it was it was all, well, they had us in man, so it was honestly the perfect look. As long as everybody, you know, do their job on offense, we was going to make the play happen, so. Appreciate you, big dog. All right, Matt. How about Matt Klang going sunglasses there on the sidelines? It's bright, man. 
It's like your future, man. I gotta have shades on. <laughs> Cole McDonald back in at quarterback. All right. Rides Borgie up the middle. There's a big chunk for Houston across to Arlington territory. Gain of 14 brought down by Will Hill. So, Joey, you're down 14 0. You're seven and a half point favorite. You've beaten this team twice by an average of 12 and a half. You're probably stunned right now. What do you got to do? Well, what you got to do is it's only the second quarter, and there's plenty of time left in this game. This was the fear when you talk to the Houston coaches. You beat a, a team twice in a season, and you assume things will go the oh. same way they went the All first right. two times, and that often does not happen. McDonald hesitated over the middle. Good catch, Deontay Burnett. Tipped pass by Donald Payne. You saw McDonald bring it down once, hit his man, and another big gain, a gain of nine. And they just told us that McDonald can run all the plays in the playbook. There are certain plays that are just for him, but he can run them all, and Silvers can only run the plays that Silvers can run. So they're splitting up these plays by which no. quarterback they have in the game. Right. AJ Smith told us this week he loves the reps he got out of McDonald last week, but that one way over Tavon Salter's head. I like to think, you know, it was second and short. So you're figuring you can get the first down on third down, maybe even on fourth down, so you take a shot down the field H -H orbit, Denver, on second and short always. Especially with hey, big Jeremy one. Cox in the backfield. Go! Hunt. And that's who they give it to. There's Cox bowls his way for a first down. Brought down by Will Hill. Tiffany? Hey guys, what this Arlington defense is showing Houston is a lot of cover four, cover two, cover one. The only difference is they're doing a better job this time around of mixing things up. So wide receivers coach Peyton Barty told me that we've got to get out of our own way, throw it when we need to throw it, run it when we need to run it. It's as simple as that. Tiffany, thank you. That is why that old adage, it's tough to beat a team three times. And right now, bobble snap. Good job by McDonald. I'll tell you what, that is good presence out of the quarterback. Okay, you good. Had some drama in the backfield. Is he able to get five out That's of That's me. I dropped it. Left H fly Broncos punch. H fly. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Hunt. Second and five. That's Aline. Aline. He's, tell you what, he's quick. And that'll be enough for a first down brought down by Powell after a gain of five. For those of you who would like to watch the SkyCast of tonight's game with SkyCam as the primary angle, plus replays from the main broadcast, that version is available right now on ESPN+. Plus. Do they get our voices when they go watch it on no, ESPN+. We, Plus? Remember, we did a megacast for a playoff, and they said we were talking well, to Well, then I would say don't go to ESPN+. Plus. <laughs> go! Joey, right. consummate company guy. Play fake McDonald, quick shot to the right side. Good execution, Travell Harris. Spotted just shy, gain a nine. And that's the second play on this drive that they've tried to get the running back out the backfield. The first one overthrown, that one right on the money. And it's clear A.J. Smith has seen something with McDonald. He's been in this entire drive, Joe. Go! Second and one, Cox. He's basically had to stutter step his way to a few for the first down. Cole McDonald brings an, an athletic aspect to this offense. In the 2020 NFL Draft, he was the fastest quarterback at 4.58 and had the highest vertical jump at 35 inches. He's a tremendous athlete, and that's why they like keeping him in the game. He's like having a blocker because the defensive end and the linebackers have to respect his ability to hang on to the ball as he's faking it to the running back. So it makes them hesitate a step and opens up that running. He, he's big. We were, we were down there pregame, and you look at him, he's like, that, that's a big kid out there. Go! Hunt. There's a flag on the play. Looks as if they didn't get the Offense. snap off in time. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Joey, all penalties drive coaches play. nuts, but Strong I'd say delay height. games. Y on H plot blue F will X wall. Strong left Y on tight H plot blue F will X wall. 
The delay a game has to drive him nuts. Let's go, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Go! All right. Borgie out of the backfield. McDonald turned his eyes that way. He's going to pull it down. Now throw. That's what Cole McDonald can do. Salter the catch. Brought down by Powell. Gain of 11. And I think McDonald realized he, he missed Deontay Burnett wide open in the middle of the field. Sees him, doesn't cut it loose, but he's a good enough athlete to still stay alive. You'll, you'll see Burnett come across the field. Wide open, still has a touchdown, but McDonald, because he's such a good athlete, can still stay alive and make a play. So now second Go! and four. Run. McDonald going to keep it. McDonald lowers his shoulder, brings it to the one. Powell's been active in a gain of five at the tenth play of this drive. You mentioned the size of McDonald. You can see he, he's tough to bring down. He's a big quarterback. He's stout. We sat there and we talked about it when we're on the field before the game. Surprisingly thick. And you can see how thick he is and he's tough to bring down. It's close here. So first and goal. Go! Run. Houston tries to answer. Arlington stands up. And a good stop by that defensive front. Jeremy Second and goal. Stopped by a host of Renegades. They Arlington tried. said they want to be more physical. These are the kind of plays you get to prove that physicality. You're trying to run it between the tackles to get one yard. Who's the tougher team? Darnell Sankey was the tougher player there. Cox remains in the backfield. No. Right. Second and goal. Cox again. Cox, touchdown. Right 12 plays, 61 yards. All Cole McDonald, Cox, who had the big game last week, just his second game on the roster, makes it a one-score game. And you just ask, how does Houston get back in this game after getting down 14 points? Well, that's how you do it. You get back to doing what you do best. It's running the football and being more physical. Houston, 8 of 34 on conversion attempts this year. That's worst in the league. Here going for two. Go! Oh! All right. McDonald left, throws. Did he get across? He says yes. Two-point conversion to Deontay Burnett is good. Man, that's close. I'd imagine Dean's going to have a look at this one. It was right on the line. So for now, it stands. And what an answer by the home team. Cole McDonald led this team all the way down the field. It was Cox a week ago, made a name for himself, gets the home team on the board. And then Burnett, you said it was close, Joe. Here it is, ball across, barely. It stands, 14-8. We got a good one here, South Division Championship in Houston. You get two lightsabers? Well, technically one, but I can split them. You never gave me two lightsabers. Mark? Rated T for Teen. YouTube is now the home of NFL Sunday Ticket. Does this mean you can watch NFL Sunday Ticket without putting a satellite dish on your roof? Does this mean you can watch your favorite teams out of market Sunday games? Does this mean all the players are technically YouTube celebrities now? Yes, to every one of those things. Sign up now and get our lowest full season price of the year on YouTube and YouTube TV. Ben DiNucci and the Sea Dragons. Why not Ben DiNucci? Abram Smith and the Defenders. Take it over tonight. The North Division Championship tomorrow on ESPN. All for a chance at the championship game Saturday, May 13th on ABC. If you're like I was, you're tired of worn out plastic mats under your office chair. They dent and crack and they're uncomfortable to roll on. I found a premium alternative, a glass chair mat by Vitraza. I liked it so much, I bought the company. I'm George Pardo, president of Vitraza. Our glass chair mats are made of super strong glass and protected with a nanotech coating. 
so you'll always get a smooth, easy glide. And they're beautiful. Tired of replacing plastic? I promise this is the last chair mat you'll need. And we give you a lifetime warranty. Comfort, style, durability. A Vitraza glass chair mat will completely transform your workspace, home office or office office. We stock 18 popular sizes and we ship free to anywhere in the lower 48. Get the look you deserve. I invite you to shop online at vitraza.com. Use promo code TV and save 10% on any glass chair mat at vitraza.com. Joey Galloway, Matt Barry, back with you here in Houston, 14-8 South Division Championship here for the right to play for the XFL Championship. Houston, one of the great American sports cities. Got the Houston Astros, Houston Rockets, Texans feeling good about their draft, and the home team Renegades. Best record in the South Division. Joe, we got ourselves a ball game, 14-8. We got a ball game because Arlington is having a terrific first quarter and first part of this second quarter. They've been outstanding on the offensive side. Austin Jones to kick to Joe Powell. Let's it bounce. There's the flag. We show you that kick box for a reason. And that Joe, I, one thing I love about this league. It doesn't is matter. Right? Okay. Yeah, no, okay. it. yeah, the ball didn't stay past the 20, so we're going to be. All right, so it's just illegally kicking. Illegally kicking, kicking team. The ball did not remain beyond the 20 yard line. The ball will be spotted 15 yards from the kick. It's first and 10. Dean Blandino, kicking is a premium in this league. If we're just getting some first time playoff viewers, explain the kickoff rule. No question, the ball has to make the 20 and stay beyond the 20 until it's touched by the return team. So great job by the Dallas returner letting it go and bounce short of the 20. And that'll, that'll put the ball 15 yards from the spot of the kick. So Dallas will have tremendous, tremendous field goal, field position. So Arlington, yeah, as Dean said. I mean, when they said, put that roll together, they really want to make it hurt. Look at I that. I mean, Dean threw one in there that really hurts. They're already in Houston territory. Good for Arlington, the Devion Smith back in the game. Can Perez take advantage? Quick fake, quick screen. Houston read it. Great defense. And a loss of three led by Ellerby, who's having a ball game. So look at that. Arlington, this is the second hey, game scoring 14 points left. in the Broncos first half. Wrap. I want ready. Did so against Houston in week two. Ellerby active, five tackles, two Tonight. tackles for loss. Brady, where's Hunt? It's Harriet following the blockers. Good cut by Harriet. What a run. Caleb Vander S sprung that for 17. And Harrion's been effective. I mean, how great does John Hayes and Chuck Long feel calling these plays right now? First down, they get stopped for no gain. But they still have the confidence to go back to the run game on second and long because the offensive line up front is doing an outstanding job offensively right now for Arlington. We haven't seen them click this well all season long. Go. Joey, isn't Gotta that just go. it? It was confidence. And Bob Stoops said that. If we can just not shoot ourselves in the Turn, foot, we can gain some confidence and play. Perez has confidence. Shoots it over the middle to Lawan Winningham, and Perez continues to deal, gain of 15. And I think Perez is eight of nine right now, and already over 100 yards, has two touchdowns. I don't know that Perez could play any better than he's playing. When you talked about bringing him in, and this is his fourth start, he looks like a guy that is now very comfortable in this offense. I mean, that's as big a throw as you're going to get on a Jane A. Harris who leads the league in interceptions. Yes. Up. 180. Perez continues to deal, takes a shot, has a receiver, caught. Touchdown to Arlington. Brandon Arcanada. And what do we have happening in Houston?
Luis Perez. Joey in his life has bowled 12, 300 games. Right now, he's pitching a perfect one in football. <laughs> that's it, that's the shot right there. Score is clear, score is clear. We want the break. Score is clear, yep, and TV after the try. Yeah, that was the shot right there. So Dean Blandino says touchdown holds, they'll go for two. Yes. Sit up. What do you need? What's hot? Vanderesh, reverse. He's going to throw. Penalties down. Vaughn no, didn't no. have a shot. I don't know. John Holding. Offense, number 55. The penalties decline. The try is unsuccessful. Right, so Time out on the field. After the unsuccessful two point conversion. You know, the genesis of this league is don't count me out. Player 54 in Arlington's like, we're not out of it. Touchdown. Yeah, two. Two. What, uh, what has? Middle going for two. Welcome to Stormy Heights, where the windows are always Pella. Pella's fiberglass is the strongest material for windows and patio doors. The fiberglass frame is even scratch and dent resistant. Pella windows. Seedland replacement windows by Pella now. Where should we put all your luggage, Ms. Hilt? In the connecting room, please. Book confirmed connecting rooms for an extra large closet. Or, you know, for your family. When you need a connecting room for whatever reason, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. It's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. Subway keeps up in their game with the Subway series, an all-star menu of delicious subs. Like number six, the boss. Meatballs with marinara and pepperoni. I get asked so many times, who's the boss? If you get the boss, you are the boss. Try Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. When it comes to the love of Sargento Real Natural Cheese, we, be, we all belong together. Sargento, we're real cheese people. I wanna go outside again. I wanna sit back with all I can do. I wanna go outside again. Are we still on for three? When your team needs more space to work and eat. Carl, is that mackerel? No, it's a uh, trout. <coughs> it matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. Hilton for the stay. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. <laughs> it's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. Trinity Thomas is the best in NCAA gymnastics, maybe even in the world. Oh, did she drill that line? Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. Feels like a change is coming. All right, these guys are holding up a line. The difference of Luis yeah, Perez is coming over. Right. over. 9 of 10, 121 yards and three touchdowns, seven different targets. But here's the number I want you to listen to. This is the first game with more than two offensive touchdowns for the Renegades all season, Joey. And you can see that 14.6 points per game is the worst in the XFL. Their offense has struggled, but they've been different with the Luis Perez here, and you can see it in this game playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. Joey, they only had five touchdowns on the season coming in. They have three tonight. Borgie to the 32, down to Eric. Coach Long, you guys are scoring points in bunches right here. What's different? What's going clicking offensively? Well, we had a nice plan going in, and we're executing and making it work. Guys and, are getting uh, open. Yeah, uh, Luis has had a, had a nice day so far, but we got a long way to go. You know, that's coach speak, obviously. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. Our guys are catching the ball well, too. Appreciate you, Coach. Chuck Long, quarterback, Iowa. I love what when a coach tells you it's coach, like he knows it's coach speak. How about but sometimes it's just the truth. 
Chuck Long in one of the closest Heisman races ever. He finished runner-up no. to right. Bo Jackson. How'd that work out for Bo? Borgie, big play. Gain of 13. Joey, let's take another look quickly at Arlington's touchdown. And it's difficult to come into a team in the back half of a season and get on the same page with your receivers. This is a corner route beating a man-to-man -man coverage that's likely one of the corners that comes into the game getting beaten on the corner. We've seen likely now struggle, and it, it appears that they're going after number four when they're trying to go down the field, and that's the second time they've connected for a touchdown. Gain of 14 right. there for Borgia. They continue to ride McDonald. All in in the backfield. Quick shot to him. Tries to make a couple men miss. And a gain of two. If this is the kickoff to playoff weekend in the XFL, and this is how we're getting you started, then I bet the North Division game will be just as good. 3 p.m. Eastern, Seattle and D.C. tomorrow, ESPN, ESPN Deportes, ESPN Plus. Mega cast coverage, all kinds of fun as we look to crown a champion, the rebirth of the XFL. And Matt, you mentioned Chuck Long playing at Iowa. Played with Bob Stoops, one yeah. of the Hayes brothers. I know. Th th these guys have known each other forever. They played together at Iowa. And now, all these years later, still friends, still coaching together, still in football. Really has been a family affair for the Stoopses at Iowa. Chuck Long, you mentioned him. I mean, he was a hell of a quarterback in college football. And here they are together. Go! Right. Calling ball plays up 20 to 8. McDonald gonna take a shot. Had Burnett overthrows him fourth down. What position do you think Coach Stoops played? He was a defensive back. He was a uh, corner. Scrappy fella. <laughs> you just get that out of him too. Why does he have to be scrappy? Because he is. Uh, that, that's my answer. That's as scientific as I get with that. Uh. He was that guy in practice he hated to practice against because he was going full go all the time. I think we'd have went at him. <laughs> so Joe Powell bobbles it at his 10, able to fall on it. That is exactly an example of the ball bouncing your way. And early on, Joey Luis Perez, 9 of 10, 121 and three touchdowns. And he looks like he is definitely on the same page with these, with his receivers. We talked to the offensive coordinators. How do you get a rhythm with your receiver? You come in the back half of the season, guys are worn out, guys are tired. They don't want to stay out later and get extra routes in. Coach told us they run the tops of the routes. They've done extra work, and you can tell it's paying off in this game. They look great through the first quarter and part of the second quarter. You're giving Perez all the credit. He tried to call a timeout. Breaking the huddle with 12 players, offense. Five-yard penalty, first down. So not a good start to this drive. And Joey, this is something to keep an eye on because what did Stoops say? We're fond of kicking ourselves. They've got a 20 to 8 lead right now. They are in control. All the momentum. That's it. Offense looks great. You do not want to make a mistake inside your own 10 yard line. We mentioned this Houston defense leads the XFL with five defensive touchdowns. You can't let them flip the momentum. 180. Right That's Smith, and that is a good job getting some clearance from your own end zone. And a gain of six, Tavante Beckett, one of those Houston players who likes to score touchdowns defensively. Had a pick six a week ago in this game. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Actually, they're going to call a timeout. Houston's going to call a timeout. So, Joey, you had heard me mention a second ago about how Perez is, is, is playing nearly a perfect football game. Yep. Well, he's done perfect in bowling numerous times. 12 perfect games, 300s in bowling. And I, I really wish I was a better bowler. This is impressive to me when they spin the ball and it looks like it's going to go in the gutter and it just comes back right her. back in. How about that? Just spinning it. He says he wants to be a professional bowler when his football career is over because you can play, you can bowl until you're 50 plus. Or beyond. You got to go past 50 in bowling. 
I'd imagine. Easily. <laughs> and then when you get to that 75-year-old mark, you've definitely got your own bag and shoes. Can you make money at bowling? That's the question. Let's find out. Brady, make hunt. Second and nine. Perez. Boy, is he on How about the timing? Five. I mean, he is you, on, look you beat the timing. This is his fourth start. That's how good this is. And I'll say this, Matt, and, and we, we've, seen, we've seen these games all season long. The level of play at the end of the season in XFL is absolutely incredible. Everyone has improved as the season has gone on. And you can see from a timing standpoint, that ball is out of Perez's hands before the receiver turns his head. And that's, that's when you know guys are on the same page. And give Javante Payton out of Tennessee credit. Bobbled it, held on to it. Two minute warning in Houston. Renegades with the ball. They'll be here in five. We ready? There's a... Oh. We'll just put books here, and that looks fine. Well, that's bad. There we go. Ooh, that's no good. I can just go. Yeah. Like... Can you do that the whole day? That works. I can't Not stop. A big deal. I can't stop. I don't have it. I don't have it. Left. Left. Perfect. We should have used Bear. Yeah. Today, let's paint, spray, and stain with Bear, America's most trusted paint brand. Was the fridge here before? Yes. No. Bear, exclusively at the Home Depot. We in Miami, the best city in the world. Formula One continues to explode in the U.S. This is the biggest event in the world right now. The vibe is amazing. The fans here are the best. I love the art of it, sport of it. Amazing energy. We go racing here in Miami once again. Let's keep it up. Yes, let's go. The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At XChair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. XChair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience, our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. XChair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work world zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At XChair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com to find out how you can own an xchair for only $20 a month. xchair.com. They're playing for the South Division Championship trophy and a spot in the XFL Championship game is right now. Arlington's up 20 to 8. John Hayes calling ball plays to perfection here. First half, third and one, Kelly Bryant in at quarterback for the Renegades. Kelly Bryant was the ACC title game MVP in 17, right up until that other guy came along in 18 and took over at Clemson. You're saying Trevor Lawrence? Yeah, better? Trevor Lawrence came. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's easy, K, 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 K. Third, ball time. Third and one under center. First down, Renegades. Smith for five. Brought down by Ellerby. And not even close. That offensive line for Arlington is having an outstanding first half. And I know Eric McLean appreciates when the big fellas up front. Look, when you get to a yard past the line of scrimmage, you have not been touched by the defense. Your offensive line is doing a great job. Still two timeouts hey. for the Renegades. Terrible, sir. Clock continues to move. Perez sets his feet downfield, has Peyton. What a throw. Peyton is getting behind this defense. Perez continues to sling it for a gain of 27. And I'm going to say once again, what a great job this offensive line is doing. This is a D.C. defense that leads the XFL in sacks. And Perez is standing in the pocket, having a chance to look downfield. And his receivers, great job getting over. They're, they're getting open. They're finding holes in these zones. Go, and go, Perez go, go. is putting the ball on them. Houston has been so good defensively this year. Right now on their heels in the first half. Terrible, sit up. Already in territory. Perez again finds the spot to Caleb Vander Esch. You are seeing an absolute quarterbacking clinic hey, triple, triple. being put on hey, by skinny. Perez. Yeah, triple, and doing it without triple, throwing triple. the ball to Sal Canella, their leading receiver. You figure coming in this game, if they're going to be good offensively, 
and Perez is going to be good is getting the ball to Sal Canella, and that's not here, been right, the right, case. Right. He is spreading this ball out. Here, 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 here we go. Seven players. Here, here, here we go. Terrible, up. Have caught a pass from Perez. Can he stay high over the middle? Vander Esch again. Brought down by Beckett. Be ready for a saw. Be ready for a saw. Gotta go. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta go, gotta go. Hey. Arlington wasting time here. Here we go. 30. Terrible. Sit up. Two timeouts left. Try to take a shot at the end zone. Perez back shoulder incomplete. Intended for Winningham. Never mind running the clock down some here. I, I think you, you want to make sure that Houston does not get the ball back with a chance to score. So inside the red zone, inside the 15-yard line, I would take some time off the clock. Could Stoops have a challenge Come here. potentially here? Come here. Come here. Hey. Looked like if Winningham was held up by Jane A. Harris. Come on. Come on. They're going to use a timeout. They've got two. Hey, you got to let me call it. Hey, I thought you were going to skin it. You didn't skin it? I was just, you called all good. Yeah, I gave you skin it. You didn't see it? It's okay. Before what? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. No, 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 I can, but the problem is I'm calling. I don't know where I'm going when I'm not. Like, so I got to make sure. Hey, can we go? Can we go trio south? F jerk. Yeah, F jerk. F jerk. You want F jerk? Okay. Okay. Oh, X not. Oh, X not. Okay, perfect. Hey, listen up. Listen up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, who's the H? Who's the H? Who's the H? We don't have Speedy, so who's the H? We don't have Speedy, so who's the H? Okay. Come on. There is no debate about who is in charge of this offense right now. Why are you in? Why are you in? Go. No, no. There you go. Hey, gun, 10 feet right. 82, Duke. Uh, H nod. I'm going to race. Gotta go. Gotta go. Duke, H nod. Hey. Perhaps hey. some confusion. Hey! Two rabbit! Two rabbit! Two rabbit! Play two rabbit. clock at two. Turn ball, turn up. Play gets off. Third and four. Vander Ash tries to get the first down. Hey, hey, kill, and kill, he's kill. gonna get it. Kill, 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 kill. No. Come on, come on. No. And that was all Perez. Oh. Here the check. Yep. Got him out of the play they called in the timeout. Checked it, saw the blitz coming, and gets him a first down. With three seconds on the play clock. Coach, we call 10 feet with, with. No, we don't, no, we can't. We, don't. Uh, we can't do it. Yeah, we can. Yeah. We have no timeouts. Hey, may, hey, coach. Coach, may they be ready. It is fitting a player who's bounced around so many spring football leagues. It's okay. I'm going to give Sal a swirl. Hey, you said Hulk? Hulk, right? Uh, no, I might give you a swirl. To no, make the most of triple. his trade. Be ready for a swirl, Rob. Go, you have to inside release. Hey, listen up. Come here, come here. Listen, listen. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. If the ball is caught inbounds, we have to run lateral out of bounds. We have time to spike it. Okay, yeah. We got a first down. We can spike it. Okay, here we go. Hey, listen up. Gun Hulk right. Two Jets, Duke, white skinny. I'm one, ready? Look for my signals. Flat, until I tell you. What access. This is incredible. Hey. Absolutely bounce. incredible. Bounce, bounce. First and goal. Bounce. Terrible throw. Perez and this story continues to the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Vander Esch. Clock stops. Second and goal. He almost squeezed this yeah, in. 
a really tight window between a few guys. This is a quarterback playing with a lot of confidence. You try to make this throw, <laughs> I mean, that, that is a lot of confidence in your ability, and it almost got through. Yeah. Son, your arm's right in checks. Your body can't cash. That is incorrect, go. though, with what he's done in this first armor, half. Armor, armor. Play clock at two. Penalty flag. I'm checking the play. Flag the play. Illegal snap. Offense, number 64. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. So an illegal snap moves them back. Hey. And I think now you got to be thinking, we just have to come away with points. There you go. Don't try to get too cute. Make sure we get points going into the long run halftime. Out of timeouts. Have to be mindful if you catch one inbounds to get and spike the clock to have an opportunity, spike the ball rather, to get a field goal before the time runs out. Second and goal. Pressure comes. Perez to the end zone. Intended for Winningham falls incomplete. Field goal, field goal. Field goal. You can tell Perez was thinking, don't take any chances here. Yeah. He threw the ball away. Let's get a field goal out of this. Let's make sure we get points. You got nine seconds. It's third down. That lets you know they're trying to be safe. They don't want to make any mistakes. A lot of teams would run one more play here, take one more shot at the end zone. But I think the way they played in this first half, they just want to make sure they get points to keep the momentum going in. 31-yard attempt for Taylor Rosalino, second best in the league. It makes, and he does good to make it 23 to 8. Five seconds left here in the second. The 2023 SFL Championship game, Saturday, May 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC. It's being played in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Tickets available starting at $25. Visit xfl.com slash tickets. I mean, who didn't expect this out of the Arlington offense? They, they, they've been saving it all for this moment. I mean, I could take inside our production meeting this morning. I, I believe I said they were going to score some points in the first half. And the struggles they've had, Joey, look, again, they scored five touchdowns the entire season. They're the worst offense in the XFL right up until this game. Yet here they are. What have we talked about with this league? League of opportunity. Listen, you know you're going to play the whole game, so let's go. I know, I know, I know, I know. No, I got you. And at four and six, people are wondering, what, how's this happening? Well, Arlington's like, you know what? Hell with it. We got an opportunity to play postseason football, and we're going to make the most of it. And they have here in the first half up 23 to eight. Borgie lets it go into his end zone. You know what? Is that the first touchback you and I have called all year? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Wind at his back, I think it might be. We don't, we don't get that often. Yeah, now it's time to draw up that uh, five seconds left in the first half play that can go 65 yards. You want to on the ball? We're going turbo. Victory kneel down. All on, ready. Against the wind, you heard it. They're just going to take a knee. That's no fun. They get the ball ready, to start the second half. McDonald downs it to Houston has beaten Arlington two consecutive times, dating back to the 2020 XFL, make it four consecutive times. But right now, Arlington is playing their game of the season, and what a time to do it. 23 to 8. The halftime score here in the South Division Championship. It's been all Perez. It's been nearly perfect. And they've got the lead at the half. AG1 by Athletic Greens gives you the daily nutrients that form the foundation for your health routine. It's made with the highest quality ingredients, put through the strictest quality testing standards, so everybody can own their health. Start your journey at athleticgreens.com. Are we still on for three? When your team needs more space to work and eat. Carl, is that mackerel? No, it's a trout. <laughs> it matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. Hilton for the stay. When it comes to the love of Sargento Real Natural Cheese. We 
We all belong together. Sargento, we're real cheese people. Next on Behind the Series. Let me tell you about the greatest roster ever assembled. The monster, the outlaw, and you can't forget about the boss. Sometimes you just want to eat your heroes. The Subway Series, the greatest menu of all time. When you prefer dream vacation over a rental nightmare. It matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. If you shop with the Walmart app, you know everything you need. It's right at your fingertips. So you can spend a little less to get a little more to make life a little better. Welcome to the final push where greatness is tested, where unstoppable forces collide, legends break through, and legacies are etched in gold. It's playoffs time, and whatever happens next is going to be beautiful. The NBA playoffs continue on ABC. Yeah, we love our house, but the cost of home ownership has been a struggle. Utility prices rising, and sweetie, can you practice that somewhere else? Anyway, like I was saying, it's getting harder and harder to make ends meet, and... Hi? Do you mind? Well, on the bright side, new customers who bundle and save with Progressive save over 20% on average. Sorry, we let them practice here on Thursdays. Sounding good, friends! Go. You know, head to toe, this is probably the best receiver room I've been in. It's just a group of guys who, who comes to work every single day, wanting to get better, asking questions. Everyone kind of comes together for a common goal in the, in the locker room. Go. We got the only quarterback in XFL to throw for 2,000 yards so far. We got the leading uh, receiver in receptions and yards in Jacor Pearson. We attack. We're going to throw the ball almost every play. Go. It makes my job really easy when I can throw the ball five yards and watch these guys go do what they do. I could throw to him all day. 11 guys, every single play got to do their job, and we got a massive one this week, so full speed ahead. Don't miss any episode of the Nine Heart docuseries, Player 54, Jason the XFL Dream. Episode 7 debuted last week, continuing our all-access look at the league and its players and coaches. All seven episodes available on ESPN Plus and Hulu. You saw the excerpt there, Joey. In, fo in football parlance, it's an XFL version of Hard Knocks. And it's been so cool this season going inside these teams throughout the week and what it takes to get to the field on game. And this has been a league built on the access that we provide uh, during the game. But that show takes it to a whole new level and, and letting you see what it's like to actually be preparing for games and practices. It's an amazing show. You saw Ben DiNucci there. You saw Jacor Pearson, part of the Seattle Sea Dragons there in the North Division Championship game, taking on the D.C. Defenders. I know D.C. has the best record, but I'm telling you what, I've said this for a long time. I think Seattle might be the best team in the XFL right now. And Seattle's a team that started off 0-2. And, and we was with them in Vegas when they got their first win. It just felt like if they can get a win, they can go on a run. They did that, and best game tomorrow will be an outstanding matchup. They've got that June Jones run and shoot offense. We were having fun early in the season. How Seattle 0-2 to start the season. They went for yeah. three points every single time when they were scoring touchdowns. So it was hard for them to convert a little bit. But here they are, opportunity to play in the North Division Championship and get to the XFL Championship in two weeks. As for our game, I don't know. Look, I don't know that anybody preparing for this game watched this game. Houston's a seven and a half point favorite. And right now it's 23 to eight. Luis Perez and Arlington are doing whatever they want out there. Yeah, and you opened up the show talking about how good DC, I mean, how good Houston's defense is, the yeah. best defense in the XFL. They give up 270 yards a game, which is number one in the XFL. Arlington already has 280. So that lets you know just how good they've been. No one expected this except the players inside that locker room with Perez and the way he's played. 14 of 1,894 yards and three touchdowns for that man right there, Luis Perez. Let's take you inside the locker room at halftime. Big time players make big time plays and big time moments. This is a big time moment. Oh. Oh. 
job, great job, Luis. Great job, man. Great job, Big Mike. Oh, yeah! Yes, Hey, let's go, oh, sir. Come on. Come on. No, hey, this game's not even close to being over. Inside the locker room here at halftime, we've talked about them. They said it throughout the year, and they believed it. They really believed it, Joey. They said, well, look, most of our losses are because we've done dumb things. We yeah. keep shooting ourselves in the foot. If we don't do that, we got a good football team. That's manifested itself in the first half. And it started up front with this offensive line of Arlington and the way they played. Not just giving Perez time to stand in the pocket and throw the ball down the field, but also the run game. They've run for 80 yards. And when you can run it, it opens up the pass game. It brings the safeties down, and Perez has taken advantage of that. Let's go to the favorite now coming in. Houston, they're down. They've got to come back. They're down 15 points in the XFL. You can come back quickly. What must they do to come back in the second half? Get back to playing Houston football. They lead the XFL in sacking the quarterback. They lead the XFL in defensive touchdowns. We haven't seen that yet. Their defense is on their heels. I expect them to come out and be very aggressive on the defensive side of the ball and get back to playing Houston football. They can get back quickly. Absolutely. They've got the offense. We talked about how good the defense is, but really now that we're down to the final four teams in this league, this the South Division Championship, North Division Championship tomorrow, we got through the regular season. We're now in the postseason. It has been such a fun time to be a part of this league as we take a look back at some of the plays of the year. When they told you that the dream was over, but here's the truth, your dream is just beginning. XFL, let's ball out, baby! A dream vacation over a rental nightmare. It matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. It's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. The all-new Chevy Colorado is made for more. Bring more. Do more. The all-new Chevy Colorado, made for more. What do you mean the connecting rooms were not confirmed? Exactly, not confirmed. We need to be able to see our kids. Oh, you'll be able to see them. When you want your kids in a room that's actually connecting, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. It's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At Xchair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. X-Chair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. 
by synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience. Our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. XChair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work world zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At XChair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com to find out how you can own an XChair for only $20 a month. xchair.com. This is a chance for a second chance. We discovered, revitalized, reborn. There's going to be some work for the Houston Roughnecks, the favored team, the top team in the South Division, to Wade Phillips in the locker room. Let's go out, start the game over, and play the way we play. Right. Are we going to do that? Yes, sir. Can we do that? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bring it in, boys. Hey, like we said, bro, it's going to be a 60 minute game. 30 minutes is the worst that we've ever had, bro. Let's make this next 30 minutes the best we've ever all right, let's go. Right next on the street. One, two, three. Right next. You heard Wade Phillips ask, can we do this? As we take a look at our progressive first half stats. Joey, what stands out to you there in those statistics? I think the number of 280 total yards for this Arlington offense. We talked about how good the DC, I mean the Houston defense is. And they have done nothing to slow down Arlington. They can't sack Perez. They can't stop the run game. And they can't stop the downfield pass game. They had a chance to get in this back, back in this game. Defensively, they have to step up. We heard from Wade in their locker room. Let's check in with Arlington. Let's go. Keep cranking it up out there. Hey, 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 I mean, you see it, Joey. They feel confident. In that half of it, if you believe, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your team, if you come in, you know you haven't beaten this team. But if you believe, that's all that matters. And right now, they've got every reason to. And then you get in the game and things are working out. The things that you work on in practice, they're all working for you. They haven't worked all season long. But when you need it in the playoffs against the team in Houston that we talked about how great they were on the defensive side, here comes Arlington when everything is working out the way it's supposed to in their favor. When they do things in practice and bring them to the field, they're a pretty good football team. We are set up for a great second half. Houston's going to start with the ball. Max Borgie at his six. Cost is 20. Good special teams by the Renegades. That is Colin Schooler with the tackle. Hey, so, normal, no, no, you're out, you're out, you're out. Joey, it is clear to me now, A.J. Smith hey, and the Houston hey, coach have decided it's a Cole time. McDonald game. I think they want to run the football. So and so Cole McDonald can give them the, the run game that they need while he can also execute all the pass Go! plays on the play right. sheet. You mentioned the run, first play to Alain. He gets a big carry, and Bryson Alain. Brought down by Donald Payne. That's how you get it started for a game of 13. And you can see every yeah, single play when McDonald's Texas. in the game, the defense hesitates. Run like hell, Justin Smith, inside now. Oh, we got something fun coming here. One step and get out of there if he does. I mean, presses. Go! All right. Taking a shot to Justin Smith. Mistimed it, falls incomplete. Check that Tavon Salter. 
He went. Devontae know, Bosby bro. on the coverage. You can see Arlington play a lot of man coverage on the back end. Jay has told us they went back, they watched Seattle, they watched San Antonio when they played against this Houston team, and they played them with a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, and they had success. So in this game, Arlington was going to play some man-to-man -man and do the same things that they've seen on film. Second and ten, that's McDonald, keeps it himself. Good game, brought down by Payne, gain of six. You would mention you have to account for the quarterback when he's a runner, Joe. And we, we talked about it in the first half. 6'3, 212. He's a big athlete. You got to make sure you yeah, keep yeah, eyes yeah. on him. Go! Run! Gray, 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 gray. Go! Run! Early third down. Third and four. What a catch. Travell Harris, flag on the play. Powell and Carter team up to bring him down after a gain of 12. We'll check the penalty. What's the penalty? 10 yards? Yes. What's the number again? Two. Pass, Pass interference. interference. Offense, number two. 10 yard penalty. Replay third down. Joe, that's big. You got to fake that that bump a little better than that. So every playbook has plays where receivers cross right. and you pick. Right. You have to fake it a little better than that. Bird didn't. Cedric Bird did not fake it well enough. No, that he negates, didn't fake it well enough. The gates. Act first like you're running a route. Just slow down. Act like you're running a route. Let him run right into you. Right. Makes it third and 14 from McDonald and Houston's <laughs> offense. First possession, second half. That's just not going to get it done from the get-go. Arlene drops it. So the Arlington Renegades defense, first possession for them. They force a Houston punt. Hey, we're good. We're good. Let's go. We're driving. Hey, we're driving. We're making plays. We're driving to make plays. We're good. We're good. Hey. Hey, we're driving. We're driving. Hey, the only thing that's stopping us is penalties. Let's go. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. We're good. We're driving. We're driving. Penalties, right? Let's clean it up. Hey, let's go. Hey, that's me. I was trying to give you a little jumper. Yeah, I beat him so bad. They got that. Okay. That's me. That's me. I got it. I'm going to throw that shit at That's me. We got him. We're good. We're good. Let's do it. Hey, we're good. Hey, we're driving. Let's go. We're good. So while one good quarterback's good. trying to figure it out and call McDonald, you good. You good. You good, baby. Luis Perez, he has it figured out. At least he did in the first half. See what he can do with the first possession for Arlington here. Ball at the 30-yard line. Here we go. What eighty? Wait, hunt. Up 23 to 8. Devion Smith in the backfield. Nice spin move to get away from one defender. Couldn't do it twice. Brought down by Harris after a gain of one. That's a really good one yard gain. And you don't say that very no, that's often. True. But it could have been a three yard loss. You can see the aggressiveness of, of the Houston defense now. They know they're behind. They're no, they know they need to start playing more aggressive. And, and Smith. Instead of losing two or three, getting the one was huge. Heflin was there to, for that loss and couldn't wrap him up. So Get second up. and nine. What did he do? Hunt. Oh. Dropped the snap, composed himself to Smith. And again, what a great job by Devion Smith. Running back out of Michigan to use those feet to get six. Down to Tiffany. Hey, guys, I was in the Roughnecks locker room at halftime, and I heard defensive coordinator Brian Stewart tell his guys it's the playoffs. You guys think you're going to kick butt the whole time? He said sometimes the bully gets hit in the mouth, but now you got to grab some water, come back out here, and turn this ish up. Smith, 62 yards a season high. You see him on the sideline. He's been battling that ankle. Third and three. Perez the fake, has Vander Esch, oh, that was dangerous. John Brannon was staring at a pick, falls incomplete. It's gonna be a Renegades punt. Now they get the stop, 
I, but what a what a break by Brandon getting there. If he picks this ball off, I think we have a different ball game. When you're playing a, a team like Houston, not just slowing down their offense, but don't let their defense gain momentum because that's where they get their energy from. If you're Arlington, take care of the football and don't let that defense start to tee off. And Joey, was Marquette King set the punt, it's going to be interesting to see what adjustments each team made at the half. So a nice effort there and a nice punt return by William Likely. Now we've got helmets off and a fight. Interesting story in the XFL. Arlington DFW is the hub, and these two teams live in the same hotel. For 13-plus weeks, they have to see each other every day. They've played each other three times. I'd imagine they're tired of it. Football is going to decide it. And right now, it's Arlington on top 20 Steel isn't forged overnight, but after all the blasting and casting is done, it's strong and lasts. Grandson of a steel worker, Ron DeSantis worked his way through college, joined the Navy as a JAG officer, earned a Bronze Star serving in Iraq. Governor DeSantis never backs down because his backbone wasn't forged overnight. Ron DeSantis, president, never backed down is responsible for the content of this advertising. The first time you made a sale online with GoDaddy was also the first time you heard of a town named Dinosaur, Colorado. I just got an order from Dinosaur, Colorado. Start an easy-to-build, powerful website for free with a partner that always puts you first. Start for free at GoDaddy.com. Welcome to Stormy Heights, where the windows are always Pella. Pella's fiberglass is the strongest material for windows and patio doors. The fiberglass frame is even scratch and dent resistant. Pella windows. Save on replacement windows by Pella now. If you Walmart, you know that with everyday low prices, you can spend a little less to get a little more to make life a little better. Something truly one of a kind. Something so well crafted belongs behind glass. So here you go. Blue Moon, one of a kind, every time. Where should we put all your luggage, Ms. Hilt? In the connecting room, please. Book confirmed connecting rooms for an extra large closet. Or, you know, for your family. When you need a connecting room for whatever reason, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. When it comes to the love of Sargento Real Natural Cheese, we all belong together. Sargento, we're real cheese people. Welcome back to Houston. Guys, you mentioned it right before we went to break there. Smith running back here for Arlington, wincing in pain, heavy tape on that left ankle. I know, guys, he wants to go, but it just doesn't look great for that left ankle. Joe, you know all that explosion, man, down low, that's a painful thing. Yeah, a lot of times it, it's trying to stop as a running back. You're trying to stop and change directions. That's when it puts a lot of pressure on our ankle. Hopefully he can get back in this game because he's been a key for that run game. And that offensive line locking it where they are. They need Smith to finish this out. Five TDs in the last three games for Smith. He is pivotal. Here's Borgie on first down. Brought down by Donald Payne, one of the best defensive players. Flag on the play. Officials going to try to get this thing in hand. And it looks as if it's going to be on 53, yeah. Darnell Saint. After the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 53. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. You saw Darren Evans get mad at his teammate. It's like, man, we are in control. Keep your head. Really? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm with you. What do you do? Push him too hard? Up. No! You can't call that! I agree with Stoops. I'm kind of with Stoops on that one, yep. Oh! All right. First and ten. Borgie. 
met immediately by Arlington's defense. For those of you who would like to watch the Skycast of tonight's game with Skycam as the primary angle, plus replays from the main broadcast, that version is available on ESPN+. We have rolled out every camera and nook and cranny we can for these playoffs to give you the best experience of the XFL postseason. Go! Right. Second and six. McDonald the play fake. Gonna take a shot. Winds up. Incomplete. Intended for Smith, Devontae Bosby dove for it, Joe, and had a chance to pick it off. And that brought the confidence in Jay Hayes and his defense and going man-to-man -man coverage. He believes his guys on the back end can cover this Houston offense and these receivers, and he's playing man-to-man, -man, and these guys are proving him right so far. And it's allowing them to be more aggressive at the line of scrimmage. If you're going man-to-man -man on the back end, you can bring those safeties down. You can be aggressive with those linebackers. It's working out for Arlington so far. Jay Hayes, the defensive coordinator. His brother, John Hayes, the right. offensive coordinator. Third and six, McDonald. Shot to the sideline. Houston wants a flag. They don't get it. The block on Bandy. Now remember, you have one challenge for anything in the XFL. You can challenge anything you want. One of the best rules in this league. Have a look if this is worth challenging. No. I think it's just incidental. Contact, everybody just kind of really good up. coverage. That's it. That's called blanket. That is a blanket coverage on the back end. They've been really good man coverage in this game. Balls out. Recovered by Houston. Could that be the momentum we need in this game? is a fumble recovered by the kicking team first down. So that was Tyler Vaughn's in to return the punt. And the fumble recovery by Brian Corey. The snapper. Joey, that's the break Houston needed because they haven't been able to do anything. Can they take advantage? Go. Both uh -huh. quarterbacks in on this play. Silvers, McDonald, fake reverse. Here comes the trick. All time to run. And McDonald's going to get a big gain on first down and get a first down, gain of 13. Now it's tough to run a trick play when the other team's playing man-to-man -man coverage. Because you're not fooling anybody. They're not looking in the backfield to find out who you fake the ball to. They're running with their man. That's great coverage on the back end. And a nice play by McDonald getting a first down, but it's tough to run those kind of plays when the team you're going against is just playing man-to-man -man coverage. What a sequence. Right. Houston gets the special teams turnover. Borgie takes it up the middle. They have a little pep. Brought down by Donald Payne. Here's a look at that trick, Joe. Yeah, both quarterbacks in the game. It's the first time we've seen this. It's a fake reverse. Here comes McDonald around edge. Again, the guys are playing man-to-man -man coverage. So they didn't even see what happened in the backfield. <laughs> They're chasing their receiver. Go, go, go! Go! Right. Jeremy Cox in the backfield scored the first touchdown of the game for Houston. He gets it up the middle. And I'll tell you what, that Arlington defensive front has been very stout today. That one led by Bruce Hector. Yeah, they've been very good up front. They've been very good on the back end. If you're Arlington defensively, you've done a terrific Hard job. Hey, you go. have to let's keep go. them out tired. of let's the go. end zone and don't allow We're this to turn into a huge momentum swing. Blue, Blue F Comet on 101, ready. Again, Silvers has been the starter all season. They saw something out of Cole McDonald Whoa. a week ago when he played right. the entire game. Has to pull it down, and he's brought down. That was Hector again. I can't say enough how good they've been on the back end playing man-to-man -man coverage. 
Coach told us they're, they were going to play some man in this game. They've seen Seattle. They've seen San Antonio do it. They went back and watched that film and figured out it was the man coverage that slowed down this Houston offense, and Arlington is executing it perfectly. A loss of seven on third down, so Austin Jones going to come out to try to get some points off the turnover and a field goal attempt of 32 yards. And he curves that one in. A little draw right to left. And you needed points off that turnover. Houston able to get it. Wasn't six, but it's just three. That's 23-11 here in the third. YouTube is now the home of NFL Sunday Ticket. Does this mean you can watch NFL Sunday Ticket without putting a satellite dish on your roof? Does this mean you can watch your favorite teams out of market Sunday games? Does this mean all the players are technically YouTube celebrities now? Yes, to every one of those things. Sign up now and get our lowest full season price of the year on YouTube and YouTube TV. With wet AMD, sometimes I worry my world is getting smaller because of my sight. But now, I can open up my world with Verbismo. Verbismo is the first FDA-approved treatment for people with wet AMD that improves vision and delivers a chance for up to four months between treatments, which means doing more of what I love. Verbismo is the only treatment designed to block two causes of wet AMD. Verbismo is an eye injection. Don't take it if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye, or are allergic to it or any of its ingredients. Treatments like Verbismo can cause eye infection or retinal detachment. Verbismo may cause a temporary increase in eye pressure after receiving the injection. Although in common, there is a potential risk of heart attack or stroke associated with blood clots. Open up your world. A chance for up to four months between treatments with Verbismo. Ask your doctor. Are we still on for three? I'm on phone. When your team needs more space to work and eat. Carl, is that mackerel? No, it's a uh, trout. <coughs> it matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. Hilton for the stay. Good checkup? No, great checkup. <laughs> Nailed it again. Keep up the good work. For great checkups, Crest has you covered because Crest Pro Health protects 100% of your mouth for 24 hours. Uh, look, mom, no cavities. Crest. Hey, it up. Look, we came too far not to win this game. Ben DiNucci and the Sea Dragons. Why not Ben DiNucci? Abram Smith and the Defenders. A 70-yard house call from Abram Smith. The North Division Championship, tomorrow at 3 on ESPN. All for a chance at the championship game, Saturday, May 13th on ABC. Your secondary is playing their tail off right now. Man to man, they're locking guys up, allowing big dogs like you up front to get sacks. How are you able to take advantage of it? Uh, just everybody on the defensive line is just closing the pocket. So everybody who's getting the one-on-ones is able to get to the quarterback. So it's really a whole unit, unit deal uh, from the ends to the inside to the DBs, like you just said. Because if they're not covering their guys, then we're not able to get to the quarterback. Because the quarterback really, really held the ball. So as we call it, that's a coverage sack. That's that's thanks to them. That's that's really ain't nothing that we did special. Appreciate you, big dog. Our ball spotter, Jason Labordi, he gets to hold it. It's windy conditions. That's two touchbacks in the game. Kicking rules. Trying to make that to where we get some kick returns in a couple of those tonight. We've also seen Arlington play football offensively the best they've done all year, Joe. Yeah, I think it's that top number. They're averaging 14.6, which is worst in the XFL on points per game. And tonight they have 23. And, you know, this is this is a lot of offense on this board, but defensively, to hold Houston to a field goal in that situation, that is a great job defensively. Keep the momentum. Now they have to get back to doing what they did in the first half. Devion Smith back in. He keeps taping up that ankle and playing through it. He knows what's at stake. Perez. Out of the backfield to Smith, and he just drops it. 
So I, I had mentioned John Hayes, the offensive coordinator, Jay Hayes, the defensive coordinator. They are brothers. Right. And you know how good our access is in this league. Well, John on the left got caught cussing on camera. Three week. Jay called mom and said, Mom, it wasn't me. It was John that was caught cussing during the live broadcast. So John had to call mom and apologize for using the bad word on television. That's Vaughn's big play, Arlington and Vaughn. John not cussing there because he dialed up a good one and Perez takes advantage, gain of 25. Here go the Renegades. Once again, keeping this Houston defense on its heels, the play fake, because they ran it so well, because they gained 80 yards of rushing in that first half, the defense of Houston has to respect that play fake opening up the slant behind the linebackers. Joey, what if I told you Sal Canella one catch for 10 yards and it's 23-11 Arlington. Oh, that's a big football hit. C.J. Brewer just leveled Devion Smith. Uh, that's Brewer believing that the handoff was going to happen. It was a play fake to, to play before. This time, he's selling out. He's doing it. This is Boom. assignment football. I'm going to make sure I close down this gap. Hey. Terrible, it up. <laughs> Second and ten. Pocket clean. Downfield. Caught. No, ruled it incomplete. <laughs> winning hand. We're so used to the big play for Arlington tonight. <laughs> Don't miss the 2023. XFL North Division Championship game tomorrow, 3 Eastern DC Defenders with Seattle 3 Sea Dragons, 3 p.m. Eastern ESPN. Hey, hey, ESPN. Hey, Matt. <laughs> hey, Matt, you're my guy. And you're one of the best that I've ever worked with because I only work with like one guy ever. But the ball was already on the ground when you yelled caught. Yeah, and you know what? I was, <laughs> yeah. Look, I get one mulligan. That's a false start on third and 10. Offense, number 70. Five yard penalty, still third down. <laughs> I get one dollar. Here it is. No, see, look, it was caught. No, no. That's what I called it. By the time you I yelled called, no, caught, no, 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 no. everybody saw the no, ball on I the was, ground. I, I didn't see it scored out I know, the back. I know. Did, you know what? I'm taking my mulligan back. That was a catch. Until it wasn't. Third and 15. It's a big turning point here. Houston got the turnover, got the field goal. Now they've got him pinned. Third and 15. Play clock at two. Snap off. Perez. Downfield. Receiver slips. I don't know who was supposed to do what. Flag on the play for now to Vander Esch. 15 Can yards. Can we have a legal contact? Number 28. Vander Esch. Flag 28. The play gave us the first down. The play gave us the first down. So we're going to define it. We're gonna... Illegal contact. 28. Illegal contact. Defense. Number 28. The penalties decline. The result of the play is a first down. How about that conversion? See, a lot of times in football, the difference between teams that win games and teams that lose games are these kind of plays. When things aren't going the way they're supposed to go, you got a guy falling down. Who knows if that ball was even going to Vander Esch. But they converted a third and long, and they keep the football now to the 30-yard line. And they have to finish it off. But those are the kind of plays that winning teams make. They're six of eight on third down today. That's the longest conversion of the afternoon. Perez going to take a shot. Has a player incomplete intended for Vaughn. As good as Perez has been, that throw, you have to at least keep it in bounds to give your guy a chance. It's a great play call. Love the timing. Love the situation. They've seen the man-to-man -man coverage. The stop and go hey, is a perfect play call. You have to give your guy a chance. Vaughn's had his guy beat. It's Raleigh Tejada on the coverage. Now just lay it out there. Keep it in. Oh, that was six. Break for Houston's defense. Turbo, it up. Second and ten. The draw. Good play call. They've been passing it so well today. Caught him just a little bit. They gain a six for Smith. Let's go. Gun trips. Trips right. 
Gun trips right, three Jet Duke, X skinny. Hey, hey. Gun triple right, three Jet Duke, X skinny on triple right. Skinny, you got flat. If they oh, gained no yards from here, it'd be a 42 yard no. field goal. Third and four. Hey, turn, Wilson up. Perez, time, flag. And he's going to be forced out of bounds, almost certainly going to be holding. DeAndre Johnson pushed him out. The, the runner is out of bounds before the line to gain, so it's either going to be fourth and short or replay third down. Let's get the choice from the coach. Jim, 77 or 73? Holding, holding. holding. Offense. Offense. offense number seven. for 73. 10-yard penalty. Replay third down. So, Joey, they elect to replay Interesting. it. Interesting. I think that I thought the same thing. Yeah, well, I, I think the thinking is to try to push them out of field goal range. I mean, you're in a game that you're down 12. Uh, it, it's about to go to the fourth quarter. Uh, the points right now are probably more important. So they're thinking, let's be aggressive. I wouldn't be surprised if they send a blitz here, because if they get a sack, it pushes them back in even further. They're trying to get them out of field goal range. Russellino has made a 56-yarder this season. Third and 15, they just converted on third and 15. Can they do it again? No, wrapped up, tackled John Daka. Big sack for the Roughnecks. And it worked out perfectly. It worked out perfectly for Houston and what they were trying to do. You take the penalty, you could have forced a fourth down, but you take the penalty to push them back. And then with a defense that leads the XFL in sacks, you go after the quarterback, you get a sack, and you force a punt as opposed to a field goal attempt. Lead the league in sacks, that their first of the night. So here's Marquette King, who just released his newest single, Grind. True story. He's a man of many talents. And that punt was just mishit. Likely still gonna return it. I don't know. If, I don't know if we're constantly rolling our camera here in the booth. If I could show you the look Galloway just gave me when I mentioned Marquette King's grind. Both of these teams are grinding their way towards a championship game. Good one here at the end of the third. The all new Chevy Colorado is made for more. Bring more. Nobody said it would be. Do more. Find that greener grass, but you're still us. Mama Chevy, it's ready. The all new Chevy Colorado, made for more. That's it? Yeah. Progressive's Home Quote Explorer makes it easy to compare home insurance options. Man, I told my wife I'd be in here for hours. What do we do now? We live. Quote Explorer. What you do afterwards is up to you. Oh, I was actually just thinking I would take a nap. Pretty tired. Okay. What do you mean the connecting rooms were not confirmed? Exactly, not confirmed. We need to be able to see our kids. Uh, you'll be able to see them. When you want your kids in a room that's actually connecting, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. It may be a new season, but the slate is not wiped clean. Give us baseball at its best. Phillies. Astros, it's the World Series rematch on Sunday Night Baseball. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the most requested items in homeless shelters. Bombas was founded to help, so for every one you buy, we donate one. One purchased, one donated. It's a tangible act of kindness for those who need it most. Distributed by 3,500 giving partners across all 50 states. And with 75 million donations and counting, the impact is real. Visit Bombas.com and get 20% off your first order. Let me be direct. Why would you pay more than double for teeth straightening with Invisalign? With Smile Direct Club, you get a doctor-directed smile you love for 60% less. That's a lot less. Like a lot. Choose Smile, choose Direct. Smile Direct Club. Why should men try Ageless Male Max? Because it has KSM 66 to help increase testosterone and Knox Perform to boost nitric oxide production, which can be handy in the gym and in the bedroom. Get to Walmart to try Ageless Male Max.
Welcome back, start of the fourth no. quarter here in Houston. You see Luis Perez, this is, this is a real-time feed of him looking at the iPad play. So what you see on the left of your screen is what Luis Perez is looking at right now with his offense, Devion Smith. Access continues to be unparalleled here in the XFL. Start of the fourth quarter. Houston has work to do down 23-11. Quick pass to Cedric Bird. Minimal gain for four. So this betting line started at Houston, favored by seven and a half at kickoff, point total at 41. Joey at halftime, it flipped to six and a half Arlington. That is a 13 point swing in the half by the halftime. I believe the point spread by the way by halftime. That's Burnett in first down. Yeah, and I, I think everybody, including Vegas, is surprised by the way this Arlington offense has played. Perez has been almost perfect in that first half, and now they just have to, they just have to hold serve. They're up 12. They just can't let the momentum swing to a point where Houston can get on a roll. They just have to stay where they're at right now and pull this off. That was a gain Go! of seven. All right. Incomplete, Justin Smith jumped before he caught it. Give me this, give me trips right, trips right, and let's go red Z slide, red Z slide. Trips right, red, trips right, red, I want to Cat. Go! Hard. Second and ten for McDonald. Quick shot, good read. Michael Bandy there. Devontae Bosby, he, Joey, he was making a read on that. Lucky didn't get picked off, but there immediately for the tackle, bringing up a third down and a loss. Yeah, Arlington one. was sitting back in the zone, and, and I think that, you know, w when Silvers was looking at the defense, he was assuming that the corner would be gone. And he cuts this ball loose, and Bosby almost broke one hey, this and gets an interception, but he makes Go. a terrific hit. Right. McDonald's still at quarterback, third and 11. Pressure comes, McDonald's can run, that's why he's in. McDonald's gonna get the first down and more. Lowers his shoulder on Evans. And that's the kind of play, Joey, that can get your team going when your quarterback lowers his shoulder for 19. And we talked about the size of McDonald. He's 6'3", 212. Evans sees him coming. Evans is 178 pounds, and I think McDonald said, I'm going to make you pay for this. We've been frustrated as an offense, and the best way to take Ooh. out frustration is run someone over. Let's see if they can oh! right. jumpstart the offense. Been a little stalled tonight. McDonald quick drops. Deontay Burnett, uncharacteristic mistakes out of these receivers. They just don't look like they have a rhythm going. They, they're, all of their passes are five yards maybe 10 yards, they haven't hit anything down the field. From a rhythm standpoint, the offense just does not look like it's clicking for Houston. Are you surprised they haven't gone back to Silvers? I mean, it's been Cole McDonald since really the midway through the first quarter. I think when we sat down and talked to A.J. Smith, he felt really good about McDonald and the way he could operate this offense because he can run all of the plays. I think that has something to do with him staying in this game. Hit hard. Willie Taylor. I mean, you heard the hit. Bring it up third down again. AJ Smith's play sheet Hard. has a block of plays that only McDonald is in for. And those are his plays, and Silvers can't run them. But the entire play sheet, McDonald can run. Right. So I think it just gives you more options. Four for 10 on third down tonight. Go. And the Renegades are going to use a timeout. Their first of the half. Eleven thirteen here in the fourth quarter. You saw Coach Hayes look at his unit. It was Jay, and he's like, "Relax. Let's listen into Houston." Yeah, I know. Uh, here's a little deep. You want to go out of there? Hell yeah. Let's go out of there. Fuck it. You're going to stick it and roll it. Right, 
Is there a time when a receiver doesn't think they're wide open? Deontay Burnett said, I'm wide open. Yeah, whoa, well, I mean. Make a good pass and, and we catch it and that yeah, means wide open. But, but, he, but he does want an out and up. He's asking, he's asking for a double blue move. Check, blue check, ready. Arlington is playing a lot of man to man coverage on the back end and doing it very well. So receiver's asking for a double move to sort of create some separation. He's at the top of your screen. Slow, set, 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 he's set. He's got his man to himself. Let's see if McDonald set, 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 set. pays it off. Third Go. and ten. All right. Pressure comes. McDonald to Bird, incomplete. Craven LeBlanc has had a nice afternoon. And Joey Perez and the Arlington offense getting all the credit, but this defense came to play. Wow, that's an incredible play. Last moment, get you in. See, people get upset when defensive backs keep their eyes on the receiver and the ball, they don't see the ball. That's a terrific play because he kept his eyes on the receiver until the last moment. When the receiver looked, he looked, and LeBlanc made a nice play get his hand on that ball. Joe Powell at his 10. A fair catch, which is where Perez and Arlington will have the ball. Up 23-11 here in the fourth. What's a Walt Disney World thrill feel like? It's like, and like, please stand clear of the door. And also like, it's shared by everyone. Grabbing us all together like. So. Hang on to them hats and glasses. And come feel it for yourself at Walt Disney World Resort, where Disney thrills us like. Subway keeps up in their game with the Subway Series, an all-star menu of delicious subs. There's the Philly, the Monster, the Boss. If I hadn't seen it in person, I wouldn't have believed it. Even this believing stuff, the Subway Series. Try Subway's taste his menu upgrade yet. We need to hit the road if we're going to beat the traffic. All right. All right. What? 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 Uh-uh. Maybe we'll just beat the traffic tomorrow? Cash back is good, but double cash back is even better. Discover matches all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year, which is cash back at its best. AG1 is so much more than a green spot. In one single scoop, it delivers daily multivitamins, pre and probiotics, stress adaptogens, and yes, greens. Start your journey at athleticgreens.com. Welcome to Stormy Heights, where the windows are always Pella, because the weather is always changing. Pella's fiberglass is the strongest material for windows and patio doors. They're tested from minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit up to 160. The fiberglass frame is even scratch and dent resistant. Pella windows. Save on replacement windows by Pella now. When it comes to the love of Sargento Real Natural Cheese, we we all belong together. Sargento, we're real cheese people. Topo Chico Hard Seltzer. Mexican-inspired flavors. Crisp taste. Crafted with soul. Always refreshing. Always diferente. Time now to take a look at our game flow brought to you by Progressive. Big time players make big time plays and big time moments. This is a big time moment. Oh. Oh, great job, Luis. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. No, this game's not even close to being over. What a game it's been for Luis Perez trying to pull the upset. He'll start this possession on the sidelines. Kelly Bryant in at quarterback. You have to think run here. Three running backs in the backfield. That's exactly what they do. Keep it on the ground with Smith. Didn't fool Houston. Brought down by Ellerby. 
Now the unscriptable carrier run down by Trayvon Mason. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. They're trying to shorten this game here. Ten minutes left from pulling off a monumental upset in the South Division Championship game. Fireball shot! Bryant showed option, keeps it. Doc on the tackle and a gain of five, bringing up third down. Any chance he was pitching that ball. You just don't want to make a mistake in this situation. And now he, they go back to Perez on a third and five, which makes sense. Perez has played well. But I think in that situation, it was a quarterback run. You don't want to make a mistake. Start a playoff weekend here in the XFL North Championship game. Tomorrow, 3 Eastern ESPN. Long way to go in this one. First down, Renegades. Sal Canella. Huge, huge first down. And Canella hasn't gotten a lot of work he in has. this game. And Perez has been terrific. And coming in, you'd assume that Canella would have a lot of catches, but he hasn't in this game. But that one is big. Interesting story about Canella. Grew up a huge fan of fashion. He was always the best dressed kid at church. Started to wear different clothes. His mom's like, Sal, if you're going to be so fashion forward, I'm not going to buy you clothes. You're going to have to learn to sew your own clothes on my sewing machine. So he did. Learned to make his own clothes. Now has his own clothing line. He said his goal in life was to play football and own a fashion line. And he's done that. It must be good stuff because it's expensive. It is expensive. Yeah. I mean, it is. Yeah, it must be great material. Like how it's sat in there. I don't have any, but it looks very nice. <laughs> he just started making clothes with a sewing machine, and now what the? I mean, the stuff looks very nice. It does. And he calls it designer streetwear. For the higher income crowd. Played his college ball at Auburn after a stint in community college. Put on. Put AD. Put on. Second and five. What a grab by Javante Payton. Not only does he make the catch, he gets some yak. Hendy brings him down and a gain of 13. That's when you know things are going your way. Yeah, and this is what they didn't do all season long. This is why they averaged 14 points, because they didn't make these kind of plays. And right now they are clicking. And I think a lot of this has to do with, uh, this is Perez's fourth start. And so again, you come to a team in the back half of the season when things are already set, things are already going in a certain direction, and you have to sort of change that. You have to be a great leader to change that. And I think it's starting to see, you're starting to see the work that he's put in working with these guys, and this offense is now clicking. And Smith's going to take advantage of the pass, loosening up that defense. NBA playoff doubleheader lined up tomorrow. ABC Game 1 Eastern Conference semis. What a great matchup between the Heat and the Knicks. 1 p.m. Eastern, then a game seven between the Warriors and Kings. It all tips off NBA countdown. Noon Eastern ESPN2 continues on ABC at 12.30. See, those games are at 1 and 3.30. You can stay up for those. I know those late games. You, no, well, you know, it's you've killing gone me. to bed. I have, because the Phoenix Suns, the team of my youth, out west playing late. Second and four. Now they go to the ground. Chauncey Rivers on the tackle. And a big third down in this game. Joey Hayes is brought in what they call the elephant personnel on third and one. Hey, we're going good. Houston needs a stop. Houston gets a stop. That never makes sense to me. And, and, and Eric McLean, this might make sense to you, but I don't understand. You've had success with your base package in the game. You've been able to run the ball for first downs with that base package in the game. Why change that? Why go to something different on a third and short, and then they bring in their heavy package? Exactly. That, that's exactly what happens. Instead of just spreading it out, you have the numbers, everything you feel good. Now you condense everything. And look, what Houston's been able to do all year long is stop that when people do that. I'm with you, Joey. I don't like it at all. Devontae Beckett came up with the play. King the punt to Likely, 
fair catch at the 20. Came up aggressively on that one. That's a great job by Likely. You don't know how hard of a punt that is to catch unless you've done it, and Joey Galloway knows. Here's Beckett. When they needed a stop, they got it. Can they come back? It's getting late in the fourth quarter in Houston. They'll be here in five. We ready? There's a... Oh. We'll just put books here, and that looks fine. Well, that's bad. There we go. Ooh, that's no good. I can just go. Yeah. Lie. Can you do that the whole day? That works. I can't Not stop. A big deal. I can't stop. I don't have it. I don't have Left. it. Left. Left. Perfect. We should have used Bear. Yeah. Today, let's paint, spray, and stain with Bear, America's most trusted paint brand. Was the fridge here before? Yes. No. Bear, exclusively at the Home Depot. You get two lightsabers? Oh, technically one, but I can split them. <sighs> you never gave me two lightsabers. Mark? Rated T for teen. Where should we put all your luggage, Ms. Hilt? In the connecting room, please. Book confirmed connecting rooms for an extra large closet. Or, you know, for your family. When you need a connecting room for whatever reason, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. In a league of dreams and opportunities, there's only one chance to be a champion. The road to the 2023 XFL Championship ends in San Antonio. The best of the North versus the best of the South. Which team will triumph? Take it to the house. Show with the burner. Intercepted. The 2023 XFL Championship game, Saturday, May 13th at the Alamo Dome. Tickets on sale now. Visit Ticketmaster or XFL.com slash tickets. If you're like I was, you're tired of worn out plastic mats under your office chair. They dent and crack and they're uncomfortable to roll on. I found a premium alternative, a glass chair mat by Vitraza. I liked it so much, I bought the company. I'm George Pardo, president of Vitraza. Our glass chair mats are made of super strong glass and protected with a nanotech coating. So you'll always get a smooth, easy glide. And they're beautiful. Tired of replacing plastic? I promise this is the last chair mat you'll need. And we give you a lifetime warranty. Comfort, style, durability. A Vitraza glass chair mat will completely transform your workspace. Home office or office office. We stock 18 popular sizes and we ship free to anywhere in the lower 48. Get the look you deserve. I invite you to shop online at vitraza.com. Use promo code TV and save 10% on any glass chair mat at vitraza.com. Welcome back to Houston, where the Roughnecks are trying to pull off a comeback against the Renegades. I'm here with linebacker Devontae Beckett. And Devontae, you came up with a key stop there. How can this defense help to get this team back on track in this game? Uh, it's just important to get offense more opportunities. Uh, five minutes, 22 seconds left. So quick three and out, get a, uh, offense more uh, chances to score the ball. And at, in this situation, that's the best. The best I think for us to do is just try to get the ball into the offense as much as we can. And here they go, taking a shot. It's intercepted. Devontae. Dave Bosby, could that have sent Arlington to the championship game? Arlington has created a turnover in every game they've played in this season. How impressive has this defense been? They lead the XFL in interceptions, and their defense comes up big. This isn't the time to take that shot because now their defense is realizing, hey, we're up 12, there's five minutes left. They have to take these shots. Great play on the back end and great defensive call. Joey, this team, seven and a half point underdogs, came into this game having lost four of their last five. No momentum to speak of. Coach Stoop said they got a puncher's chance. There are people who thought at four and six, they don't even belong in the playoffs. And here they are on the doorstep of winning the South Division Championship. Auto, 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 auto. In a league built on second chances, Arlington's getting theirs in the playoffs. Smith on first down, tackled by Trent Harris. Just the beginning of XFL playoff weekend. If tomorrow's anything like today, buckle up Seattle and DC, three Eastern ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus. Injured players, Trent Harris. Was it at 25 when they stopped? I can go very, it was at 25 when we shut it. 
defense coordinator Brian Stewart told us when he was a DC with the Cowboys, they had the same situation. They beat the Giants twice in regular season, played them in the playoffs, and got smoked. And so he was nervous about this yes. very situation. That beating a team three times in a season is tough to do because your players believe that the same thing that happened the first two times is going to happen the third time. And it Wade, never happens. Wade, so 13 and three that year, number one seed in the NFC. And that was the infamous Cabo trip for the Dallas Cowboys. Look at that fella. Attendance tonight, 13,568 strong. Look at those meatheads. That's exactly what I guessed. I mean, this, is, this has been a heck of a crowd. They've been treated to a heck of a football game, even though uh, we're at Houston and their team hasn't been the same, but a great crowd and a great game. A big thanks to all 13,568 in attendance tonight. And a big thanks to all the fans across the XFL who have come out and supported their teams throughout the season. That was Smith brought down by Mason. And now these Roughnecks fans, rather, hoping for a miracle here with 420 left. Third and three, Joey. Yeah, and they're hoping for a stop right here. And, and if you're Arlington, keep your base package out there. The, the clock runs whether it's, it's a run or a pass, so that you know, the rules in the XFL, if it's incomplete pass, the clock still runs in, instead of, unless it's inside two minutes. So that's not a concern here. You can go either one, but this is a huge play for both sides. Gotta go. Turn, up. Can Perez put it away? He takes it with his feet, and Luis oh, Perez, that could be an additional 15. Stop, stop, stop. No flag oh, thrown. I'm actually really surprised there wasn't a flag thrown on that. He's got the right to challenge it. And there's an injured player for Houston. But how fitting Perez picks up the biggest third down of the game by himself. Oh, AJ, come on, man. <laughs> you heard that exchange. Between Perez looks at AJ Handy, he's like, AJ, come on. And Perez is thinking. I got another game to play. They're thinking we got to close this out. Three minutes and 33, 36 seconds left. Warner yes, Birds are yes, winning yes. this thing. I'm surprised Stoops isn't challenging. I'm going to take advantage of this with Dean Blandino. So, Dean, if Stoops were to challenge us, what would you do? We're setting it up. To Puddle me, line, it is a line. foul. I do believe that it was an early slide. And we're always asking our ball carriers, especially our quarterbacks, to get down early. I thought Perez did. And the defender wasn't committed, and it was forcible contact. So if Coach Stoops did challenge, we would add the foul. Okay. Dean, thank you. We don't have too many in the huddle, do we? See, this is interesting. Say there's someone at home that has Coach Stoops' phone number. Shoot him a text. No, 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 no. That's what, that, you, know that, you know that happens in golf? Where the guy in his couch calls it can a happen penalty. in football. That's what's good about the XFL. Smith. Three minutes left in this game. Arlington close to staying in Texas for the championship May 13th in San Antonio. Wade has three timeouts, elects not to use them ahead of the two minute warning. Come on, ready? 92 auto. Gotta go. Auto, 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 gotta go. Terrible, sit up. Important part for Smith, he's gonna be able to heal up should they advance the next couple of weeks on that ankle. He's played tough throughout the night. All right, so there's Houston's first timeout. You know, Joey, in the offseason when we were prepping, getting ready to start XFL, and, and, and the owners and our chairwoman, Danny Garcia, and, and, and Dwayne Johnson, DJ, and they, they, they always talked about how it's important for, for second chance opportunities. Don't you just find it so fitting that this is Arlington, four and six, 
No one's giving him a chance coming to this one. Basically, no one giving a lot of these players a chance in football. No, this one will be. Yet here they are, two minutes and 26 seconds away from doing what yes. no one yeah, thought the they could do, which is play for the championship. Yeah, and deservedly so. They only won one out of the last five games. So it's not like people were, they, they didn't have the feeling of we're being disrespected. Yeah, they, won one of last, yeah, they won one out of the last and five games. And hadn't beaten this team twice. But this goes to show you what happens when, you see, in this league, the, the special part is the group of coaches in the XFL have done everything you can imagine. They, they're, they're accomplished. They've seen everything. So these guys know how to navigate sure, their teams and these players through these kind of situations. Even when it doesn't look good, they know all we need to do is go out and do our job. The whole is that a catch? Go ahead and say, now you can say it, Matt. Earlier, you jumped in. Lawan it was, wasn't a catch. Winningham. That's the catch of the season in the XFL with what's at stake. Luis Perez put that on his shoulder, and that puts Arlington playing for a championship in the XFL. That is unbelievable. And the reason you didn't know it was a catch was look at the reaction by Winningham after this happens. He literally catches this ball and then just gets up like, huh? You would, his reaction was like he just made a catch in practice. This that is, is the, the catch of their season. It, this is the catch of the year in the XFL. Lawan Winningham. You'll be on Sports Center Top 10. I know people. Lock it in. Next on Behind the Series. That performance was legendary. They just piled it on. Roast beef, ham, oven roasted turkey, all on the Subway truck. Three Pete, that's great. Three meat, that's epic. The Subway Series, the greatest menu of all time. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. <laughs> it's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. First, there's an idea, and you do something about it for the first time with GoDaddy. Then, before you know it, you make your first sale. Small business first never stop coming. And you have a partner that always puts you first. Start today at GoDaddy.com. If you shop with the Walmart app, you know everything you need is right at your fingertips. So you can spend a little less to get a little more to make life a little better. Welcome to Stormy Heights, where the windows are always Pella. Pella's fiberglass is the strongest material for windows and patio doors. The fiberglass frame is even scratch and dent resistant. Pella Windows. Save on replacement windows by Pella now. The all-new Chevy Colorado is made for more. Bring more. Do more. The all-new Chevy Colorado, made for more. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. It's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. I love it. Get a free 5G phone. Now at Metro. Are we still on for three? I'm on the phone. When your team needs more space to work and eat. Carl, is that mackerel? No, it's a trout. <laughs> it matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. Hilton for the stay. When it comes to the love of Sargento Real Natural Cheese. We all belong together. Sargento, we're real cheese people. NFL Draft, NBA, NHL, MLB, UFC coming up on SportsCenter. And Kevin Connors and, and Michael Eves are hosting SportsCenter coming up next. Guys, if this play isn't in SportsCenter's top 10, it is an injustice to the greatest franchise in sports television, which is the SC Top 10. I expect it to be in there. Perez even agrees. Catch of the year in the XFL. And it could have punched Arlington's ticket down to San Antonio. Two minute warning, Matt Berry, Joey Galloway, Eric McClain, Tiffany Blackman, bringing you the South Division Championship game. First and goal. 180.
Houston calls their second timeout. Danny Garcia, our chairwoman and owner, down on the field signing some autographs. Our thanks to Danny and DJ, Jerry Cardinal and the ownership group. What a great season it's been for them. Everything they've done to support us, support the fans in the league. The story of when Danny called DJ and said, do you want to buy the XFL? DJ didn't even let the sentence finish. He says yes. Why didn't she call us? I know. We could have chipped in. <laughs> <laughs> There's some extra money laying around. We could have Venmo him something. We could have Dean. We could have been uh, Dean Blandino's boss. <laughs> some no, say no, you no, have. Now that would have right. been fun. <laughs> hey, Joe, Danny, you're talking about buying the XFL. Right. You can't even afford Canela's clothing. Just, just, just a piece. What are we doing? Just a piece. Yeah, he tried to buy a Canela sock. <laughs> uh, Danny Garcia. She'll be a part of the trophy presentation come on, come on, come on. following the game. As will our Tiffany go. Blackman. Got here early today to rehearse for that. Looking forward to Girl, seeing the presentation. Second and goal. Before the game, I was I was talking to John Hayes down on the field, and, and I was asking him, I was just asking him, what are you going to do when the season is over? Oh, this is a good answer. And he looked at me like, hey, there's another game. He thought I was saying, they're going to lose this game, and then where's he going to go to? And I literally was like, hey, coach, I mean when the entire season is over. Yeah, the way it he like looked he at you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he knew and hey, felt hey. good about the way they were going to play and was like, hey, man, no, this no. ain't over. I've got three more weeks. We're going to kick out our roommates at our hotel that we've been living with Houston for 10-plus weeks. We're going to kick them out. We're going to have them pack our bags. And then Joey will get to Cincinnati after yeah. that. Then heading back up to the great state of Ohio. OH? Yeah. You didn't say I am. Uh, yeah, that's because you're a sun devil. <laughs> Third and goal. Smith. First down, right? If that was a... No, third and goal. I don't know why they hey, think they've got right? a first down. So fourth and goal. Houston out of timeouts. Arlington will let are, this run are, all the way down. They'll bang their time out. Get some points. No, 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 no. Time out. All right, so a field goal. Makes this 26-11. Yeah. Yeah, then they can't kick the long field goal. And they get a couple of two-point conversions and Minute seven left. The over under 41 uh, looked like it was in trouble early. And then uh, we expected two really good defensive football teams. And then the second half, they slowed down the scoring. And you might be feeling pretty good at that 41 on the over under that the game began with. 11 points, the lowest total of the season for Houston. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's do it, man. Rissolino on for a 19-yard attempt. Chip shot up and good. This really has been an incredible game, an incredible evening, and execution by a team that Joey candidly, we didn't give a chance. No, and we talked about extensively how bad their offense has been. Uh, and how well they've played. And I don't know that we've given enough credit to what the defensive side is, has done. You just mentioned Houston just having the 11 points so far. But defensively, man, have they executed a game plan on that defensive side of the football, playing the man-to-man -man coverage on the back end. Uh, Jay has told us that they've seen a lot of film. They, they watched Seattle, they watched San Antonio. They had a game plan and watching how those teams were successful with man-to-man -man coverage, and they've come out and they've executed it on the defensive side hey, uh, as Two well as coverage? they did it on the offensive side. 26 points ties the season high in points for Arlington. I've given you the stats all night. They've only scored 12 touchdowns this season. Hey, B, let's go, baby. That's least in the XFL. They only had five touchdowns through the air. And it's been a completely different team tonight. 419 total yards. Borgie running start, it is 10.
brought down by Darnell Sankey. So this championship game number one in the south tomorrow, championship game number two in the north. The Seattle Sea Dragons got in by a tiebreaker a week ago. They'll take on the D.C. Defenders, who for most of the season, Joey, have been the best team in the league record-wise. They really have, and, and, they, and they've been fun to watch. And, and I've said this earlier, it's amazing when you've watched this, this league and this season, how good the football has become. Oh! These teams have only improved as the season has gone along. And this kind of game right here, as surprised we are that Arlington has played this well, I guess we shouldn't really be surprised because of this coaching staff and what they've been through and what they've done. It's not a surprise to see Coach Stoops, the Hayes brothers, Chuck Long, get a team to play this kind of football. A sack there to loosen loss up, of four. Loosen up! Loosen up a little! Get out of bounds! Another funny exchange pregame. <laughs> Talking to Bob Stoops, I was like, you guys gonna open it up today or what? <laughs> and you laughed and Coach Stoops laughed. He's like, yeah, we have to. Yeah, that's a third down on London. He would love to have opened it up. <laughs> Every game, they just didn't have the ability to do so. Drew Plitt started the season as quarterback for Arlington. March 28th, the trade for Luis Perez that is ultimately going to be the reason that they're in the championship game. Fourth down and 11. McDonald's got to make a play. Oh, wow. Deontay Burnett. How many great catches in one game can we have? Oh. How about the receivers amazing. showing out for Joey Galloway? I think Burnett deserves a spot in top plays. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Come on. 17 seconds left. I'm going to look at this. Full extension by Burnett, played his college ball at USC. Darren Evans couldn't believe it. He thought he had an interception. It looked like an interception when McDonald threw oh, that up. Evans is sitting there with both hands out like this ball is coming right to me. Wade Phillips and this team, they won every game against division opponents this year in the South. Four and one at home. They've beaten this team twice by an average of 12 and a half points. And today the Arlington Renegades are going to eliminate his team from the playoffs. Incomplete. Fourth down coming, likely the final play of the game. The sidelines are going to be partying now. They've got the championship T-shirts out. They're handing out the T-shirts. McLean is not getting one for us. This really is an improbable ending to a season at four and six. Joey, you can't candy coat it. It hasn't been great. Let's go. One more game. One more game. Right? No, they won one of their last five. Let's go, and they're playing they for the They limped in here. They're playing for the <laughs> XFL championship. Pass incomplete from four and six to XFL championship game. The Arlington Renegades have won the South Division. I don't know Ever. how that happened. Ever. Wade held the game. I don't know how that happened, buddy. I guess three times, third time's the charm, I guess. We got lucky. All right, buddy. How you feeling? Coach. You look good. I'm lucky I ain't got to have surgery. <laughs> hey, bro. No kidding. Hey, man. Go out play the training. Yep.
Here you go. Yeah, thank you. 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 Cole McDonald on the losing end of this one, the fourth start of the season for Arlington for Luis Perez. Perez started his season with the Vegas Vipers. They struggled. He gets dealt. Now he's playing for the championship. Yeah, let's find Johnny and get a pick. Down to Eric McLean. Luis, I've asked you this before, my man. You've been doubted. You've been traded. You still stand tall. What is your why? Why are you so passionate about football? I love the game. I do it for the people that believe in me. Not for the doubters, and uh, my family's here in the stands, and uh, I do it for them. I do it for them, and I'm excited, and we got one more to go. I asked you about this after that first drive. You said balance is what we want to do. That's what you exemplified all night. How was tonight so different? This was the best performance that we've seen from the Arlington Renegades. Yeah, I think, you know, after the D.C. game, we really started to peak a little bit. Then we were really vanilla last game, and I think uh, – I think moving forward, I think that we're going to be complimentary football, and uh, we're just excited to just keep, keep going and play for the next one. You take a team that is really just struggling. I mean, one of five games to finish the season. You're playing for a championship in two weeks. How's that feel? Yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling. You know, I, I thank Coach Stoops for, for, for making the move to come get me, and I'm excited. I'm going to prove him right. Appreciate you, man. Great job. Thank you. Eric and Luis, thank you so much. Okay. I say go Hawks to him every day. You heard Bob Stoops say it. Oh, Big Michael! Yeah! Coach, how about that? He said, I don't know how that happened. One of the things Bob Stoops told us throughout the week, he said, you know that this season is now finished. I've been able to get to all 10 games in a playoff. I've been able to get to know my players better. Yeah. I've been able to get these relationships and grow them. And you're seeing the reaction of it down here, that a 4-16 and six team that people left for no chance, Luis Perez on a bad team to start the year, he gets his second chance, and here they are playing for a championship. Yeah, and make no mistake about it as we listen to Coach Stoops, uh, he's like, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> because we talked about it, the season they've had, offensively they've struggled. Uh, Record-wise, they come in at 4-6. and six. And then they play the best game that they played all year long against – a playoff team with the best defense in the XFL. Offensively, they executed in the first half. In the second half, it was a defense. Held, held Houston to three points in that second half. And it's amazing how they just put a game together all at once that they hadn't been able to put together all season long. Joe, and I'll take it one step further. When these two teams have played twice this year, these games haven't been close. You know how we know that? We've called all three. Yeah, yeah we called the, we we've called, been there. We called the game in week two. We called the game last week. We're here again tonight. Little by little, we've gotten better. So... All going good for you? And. All right, right here. Okay. Again, so many things in sports have to work out. And cliches are a cliche for a reason. But how about this one coming to fruition tonight? It is so hard to beat a team three times. You and I looked at each other pregame. We're like, well, maybe in this one. Yeah. Houston's just better. And Arlington at the right place at the right time. We wondered if Luis Perez was due for a breakout. The start. The start of the game, going 75 yards with 10 plays and scoring a touchdown for Arlington. It felt like it woke the team up and said, this is what we're supposed to be. And offensively, they were amazing in that first half. It was 19 to 27, 289 yards, three touchdowns, over 400 yards total offense, all season highs, point total tied to season high. 23 points in the first half for a team that was averaging 14 points a game. It's an amazing night. Pre-Luis Perez, weeks one through seven, they were averaging 13.3 points a game. I've got Perez for a helmet sticker. Absolutely. And we got Taylor you for a dollar and, uh, for that. I'm sorry. It's a catch call on the sideline. You know, clearly the ball was rolling We've got for you for a dollar calling Houston, D.C. Right twice. Was it only twice? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It felt like it's more than twice. <laughs> They're getting ready for the trophy presentation down on the field. What a fun, what, it's going to be a fun trip for Arlington. Hey, look, it's a, such a unique, fun situation in the XFL where there's a hub city and these, these teams share hotels. Yeah, let's go. Well, one more, one more. Arlington let's go. literally and figuratively sent Houston packing twice tonight on the field and at the hotel. 
they get the place all to themselves next week as they wait to play a championship and they wait the winner of Seattle and DC in the North Division Championship. We talked about the Hayes brothers and the, and the close knit okay. history of Bob Stoops, Chuck Long, former Iowa players, roots at OU when Bob was a Hall of Famer there. So an experienced head coach in one championship side, Reggie Barlow, Jim Hazlitt tomorrow night. Let's go down to Tiffany. One, to everybody here and everyone that tuned in at home, a big thank you. You all just watched an XFL South Division champion be crowned. A big congratulations to the Arlington Renegades in a tough fought game against those Houston Roughnecks. And now I would like to turn it over to the woman at the forefront of the XFL, chairwoman and owner, Danny Garcia. Thank you, Tiffany. What an incredible evening. The 2023 South Division champions, the Arlington Renegades. Amazing. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Cope Stoops. This team comes into this game viewed as the underdog. You have never beaten this Houston team before this season until tonight. How are you all able to do it to win the South Division? Yeah, you know what they say, three times is a charm, right? And, uh, you know, as much as anything, long as you have a chance, that's all you can ask for. These guys had the chance to play, and we made the most of it tonight and won the, the, a game, the championship, the South Division, when you needed to. You always have a chance when you have Luis Perez, your quarterback. You acquire him in a trade. This is only his fourth start, and Perez now comes in here to lead you guys to this title. How is he able to cement himself as a leader with this team? He's done a great job being a leader, uh, galvanizing all the guys. We've improved every week with Luis, and all the coaches have done a great, great job working with these guys. Luis, to come in here in week eight, cement yourself as a starter for this team, what does it feel like now to be able to hold this trophy for the South Division? Yeah, I'm just grateful for the opportunity, man. You see these guys behind me, man. I can't do it without these guys. And, you know, our coach has done a great job putting us in position to win. And uh, here we are today. Congratulations to the Renegades. Matt. Tiffany, well said. Congratulations to both Luis Perez, Bob Stoops, and the entire Arlington Renegades franchise, and to the Houston Roughnecks, who had a great, great season. What a season it's been for our crew. Alex Farmatino produced it. The first state directed it. For Joey Galloway, I'm Matt Barry. Arlington headed to the XFL Championship to face the winner of tomorrow's North Division. What a season it's been for Luis Perez. They are headed to play for a title. We're headed to Bristol and Sports Center. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.